Good evening. I'm here. I'm live. I get came on one minute early. It always says waiting for the person like a minute early. I just popped on. I've been sitting here drinking coffee. <laughs> Second cup of the day. I usually don't do that. I got a notification that I'm on. That's kind of funny. But this is a predominantly, this is an auction and buy it now sale. Um, I sold some of the jewelry I showed yesterday. Not a whole lot, but like, I don't know, like eight pieces or something. But hi, Laura. Let me say hi, Susie. Thank you. Hi, Angel. Yeah, and I do see you, Sharon. Hello. And Laura again. Hello. So I'll start at like 10 after. Um, I was just looking over things. I have a, a number of trays around me. Um, and I do have a decent amount of what was I showed yesterday anyways. I haven't. I mean, I've shopped, um, but not as much as I typically do over the holiday season. I still have a decent amount of jewelry here, though, obviously, to sell. But I hope everybody's doing okay. I'm going to change the size of that little, um, of the banner here. It looks a little large. Let me see. I have to lift this up to, to, to do that. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm sure you can see me. I can see myself. Hi, Kathy. Early. My goodness, my voice is annoying sometimes. <laughs> but thank you. I think, not annoying. I don't want to say it like that. It's loud. I have a very loud voice. But thank you. That's nice. Um, <laughs> how are you doing, Kathy? I was trying to make this. Is that minimal? That looks so large. I guess that's not that big. Um, It looks small. But maybe it's not. I mean, it looks larger on the on the laptop. Still working with this uh, amber. Let me go down here. Hi, 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 Hydron. I I've got to move my comments down. It's I was way. Oh, Amber. Hi, Amber. I think you're new. Welcome. Thank you for coming. I appreciate everybody coming. Um. I was a Monday night person. I'm sure you know that. And now I'm a Wednesday. So I do. I talk extremely loud. So if I'm too loud, you can turn it down. I'm one that you will never say I can't hear you because my voice carries. I know that. Um, hi, Kirsten. And uh, welcome, Amber. Thank you for coming. Um, if you want, if you decide you want to buy something, don't feel any pressure to do so or to pre-register. I mean, but if you want to pre-register, you can. You um, just email me here at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. Um, I just need your PayPal email address, YouTube name, and a country in which you live. So I know how to do shipping. And shipping starts at $6. I can ship up to like 12, 12 ounces, not pounds, <laughs> for that price. Um, and then it goes up a little bit. After that, I usually charge priority. And then I send the items out and I, I can actually fit up to like two pounds, it says, but safely, oh no, anything, uh, 70 pounds in the thing. But I don't like to send more than 15 um, pieces of jewelry because I want to make sure it actually gets there if I get damaged. Hi, hi, Tanya. I, I think I do have your information. Didn't you, I think you may have, yeah, you sent it to me last week. I actually remember. Hi, Becky. I do remember seeing it. Um, but yeah, here I, if I'm, I'm going to see, I'm contemplating like just one day a week sales at some point. We'll see how that goes. Um, and then pop up occasionally other days, but, um, I'm pretty sure I did get yours. He's doing well or she, we don't know what the bearded dragon is yet. Um, doing pretty well. We've been putting, I'm going to see him putting them into a bathtub, not our bathtub, but I have like a container that's like pretty wide so he can move around in it and swim if he wants. He seems to like it. I've been putting them in there um, like every other, every two days just till he gets used to it. Cause I don't think they did that at the pet shop for it, for the uh, lizard, the dragon, but he gobs the water up and it looked like he was trying to swim the other day. <laughs> Funny, I know they don't need it more than a couple of days a week, but we've been every other day just to get them used to it. So I've been heating the water up um, and checking it, you know, to make sure it's safe for the lizard to go into. But um, yeah, it's really, it looks so cute sleeping. He, like, he has this little log thing and drapes his legs um, 
just drapes them over the edge. The legs kick back. Hi, Irene. He'll have his back legs kicked back and his arms just draped like he's hugging it. Um, I got him a piece of driftwood the other day when we went and got new crickets, more crickets too. And I know we'll switch them from crickets eventually. Um, contemplating what I'm going to feed them. But anyways, if anybody's watching and they've and you are not subscribed to me, hi Karen. If you're not subscribed to me and you would like to speak, does not mean you have to buy and it's free. You can just subscribe. Um, so you can comment in the chat section. I have it set up to where you have to be subscribed to speak. That's to prevent the bots and so in harassment that people occasionally get here on YouTube. Um, and if you want to buy and you've never purchased from me, you just email me here. Um at vintage jewelry galore at yahoo.com and like i said before um i'll say it again in case of somebody else here just need the paypal email address youtube name in the country in which you live if you don't use paypal then just your email that you use and the invoice will come to you and you can pay for credit card because not everybody uses paypal i realize that paypal is nice because it's secure i i don't do friends and family type thing um if you know somebody really well, people do that. That's I'm just saying. I actually type. I will type up an invoice for you in um, showing what you're purchasing. Um, that way, it's secure for you and me as well. I like to keep track of what's going out, coming in. Although it gets hard sometimes, but um, yeah, I'll start in a little while. Uh, I've got everybody's out. There are a couple people that won. Yours are on their way. I'm sorry. It's, it's been, it's been kind of an, you know how it is around the holidays. Things get crazy. And, and I've, I haven't, there's a couple of, of winners who didn't go out, but I think everybody else has went out unless the payments trickled in. Um, some of you probably already received it. Your, uh, your stuff, if it came priority, especially cause I believe I sent it out. Well, maybe not. I sent it out to Saturday before Christmas. So it may not have arrived yet if it was regular shipping, they say it's slow, um, even like after for a little while, but yeah, I have started shopping a little bit differently. I've been going online. Um, what's that? Thank you, Jason. I just saw your email. Um, I saw an email come through. Um, God, it's huge. I have, do you know what the light looks so big on my computer? I have the font set on my phone a little bit larger because my, hi, hi, Jason. Thank you. I did. I just saw your email come through. Thank you. My eyes are like, you know, I've got the old lady eyes. Um, you know, you know how it is. Well, not, not old lady, middle age. I am getting older, but I'm not going to call myself that even when I am a lot older, but I can't see. Um, okay. Okay. I do have a Bakelite bangle, maybe you want. I have a couple really cool Bakelite pieces coming, too. That's why I, I used to do all my shopping. I'm going to start in a few minutes. I'm just going to talk for a minute if you guys don't mind. <laughs> I used to do everything, like, going to local stores. But I found that if I go online and I pay attention to what I'm looking at, I've been finding some, finding some pretty amazing jewelry, like, that I can't find. Um, well, it's, I'm waiting for some to come in. It's things I can't find. Um in the stores all the time, like the more vintage and antique jewelry, like necklaces type of things. Um, I did find, uh, I sold a few of them, but I have a few of them left. I figured out what a necklace was today. Okay. This is by chance. This is a Ross Simon, um, necklace actually. And I could got a can nine SQ or something on it. It says, or nine QS it's stainless steel and it's Ross Simon. I, um, yeah, they're, they're pretty beautiful, those earrings. I hope everybody did get their packages. If not, they'll be lingering. They'll be coming. There is a tracking number in PayPal. This is 9SQ. This is Ross Simons. I didn't know what it was. I've had it for a while, but those are crystals. And this is stainless steel. Um, he, and I went on his website and he has a stainless, I mean, the company has a stainless steel line and of jewelry. I, I always think, uh, sterling, vermeil, or gold and gemstone but apparently they have that line all right a couple more minutes here um i'm gonna show new jewelry stuff you've seen things that have been packed away places um i'm gonna stay on as long as i can and <laughs> yeah I, was, I i i i mean i figured i'd try to do as much as i can today and things that i've had for a while i'm gonna offer it cheaper um 
that's how I usually do it. Uh, just, you know, to, to turn um, things over, to, to sell some so you can get new. You know what I mean? So that's what I'll be doing. But I'll start off with some newer things. Um, I have a five-inch fish that you... Um, uh -oh, who's well how much is i don't even know what she's talking about flash checker I, i'll show it if i didn't sell it yet amber if you're here i can't answer emails right now i but if if it's if i don't show it and i see your what's in your email just ask me if i don't show it okay and i'll bring it out um it's probably something i showed yesterday um i sold that big flower necklace the one i said i didn't know what to think about it I'm going to clean it. I did sell that. I sold the jade. Um, I sold the garnet. I sold the um, the amber or gold foil, antique gold foil, or it's antique, I believe, gold foil glass as well. And I think that's it. No, the, I sold the moonstone earrings. What else did I sell? People are going to jump off. I, I had the ones that I do have here. Somebody didn't answer me, but she on a, like a couple of smaller things, but I'll hold them for her because she she's um if if she doesn't want it, then I'll sell it later. Okay. And Sue, if you're here, I don't know if Sue's out there. I didn't send your neck bracelet off yet. There was no shipping to be charged though, because I owed you money. She won a ten dollar certificate one day when I was doing it. So that's still here. I just saw it. All right, I'm gonna get started. Yeah, that was very pretty, huh? It looked brand new. I've been finding Heidi Doss on a couple of the sites I've been going on. They charge a pretty penny for some of those pieces. Um, That one was nice, I thought, though. It was a little smaller than some of the, like, huge ones. All right, let me get started. I have I have a number. Of, I'm going to start in this tray here. Um, I can always get up and move about and grab more, too, if I need to. Um. This is really cool. Hi, Ellie. Thank you. I, I don't know what to... Should I... Let me look at this. I think it's brass. It's really small. It's really cute. I thought it was larger when I saw it. You know how sometimes... They, I mean, it's still nice. It's cellular. Um, let me smell it. Rub it in. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that's what it is. It's not shell. This is a cameo look, little... Look. It's a locket. It looks sterling in there, doesn't it? Um, it could be. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, it's cool either way. Can you see the woman with the bird in the front? So it's a, uh, has a little, it's raised. What do they call that? It's not, um, it's hard to, I have to tell what it is. Let me put it on here. It's really, it's a cameo locket. Right, see the woman, she has a bird in front of her let me try to show it <laughs> it's it's like an inch i thought it was bigger i thought this was like three inches when i bought it kind of can you tell that's a woman actually once let me look at it i'm sorry yeah she has a dove in front of her head is tilted back and that is celluloid and i believe the content of the uh little cameo pendant is Brass. I'm going to say brass. The inside kind of looks like it could have some sterling, but I don't know. I didn't test it. And it probably could use a cleaning as well. <laughs> You're going to cut rocks. Do you know how to clean moonstone? I think my moonstone needs polish that's sitting here. I think I saw, so I, maybe it was Kirsten said she, I don't know if she polished that or somebody else did. All right. So this is a little cameo locket. It's an inch. So I'm going to call it brass. It's vintage. I'm hoping you can tell it's a woman. Can you? My eyes are getting bad, so for me it's hard. She has a dove in the front of her. You see the bird's wings, and that's her arm going around, and her hand is over here. It's her arm. There's a dove, a bird in the front of her. Her head is tilted back to the side here. And she has, looks like she's got a flowers in her hair. I don't know. This is celluloid and brass, and it didn't break. It's pretty sturdy here. Um, like I said, okay, let me put price and see if anybody wants it. 
All right, if anybody wants it, um, it's cool. It's definitely vintage. I'm not really sure of the same uh, of the exact um, dating on it, but it is a little raised here. All right. Okay. If anybody wants this, it is, I don't know. It's 30. I'm just going to do it by now 30. It's celluloid. A woman with a dove in the front of her. Hopefully you can tell that it's a woman, actually. Can you see that? It is celluloid. This is not show. And it's vintage. I'm not quite sure of how old. Oops. I thought it was going to be like, it looked, in the picture they took, it looked like it was like three inches. Let's see inside. In the back. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> All right, I'm just going to stick it on here for another second. I'll show it and then I'll pull it away. I, sh I should probably try to figure out exactly what the metal is. I think it's brass inside. kind of looks like sterling, but I, I didn't test it. It just came in a moo. She's pretty, though. I'll pass on it. Because it's, like, it's not a shell, so the definition with the celluloid, it's not going to, it's not as um, defined as a, um, a shell. It's really, it's pretty nice. Though. Okay, let me put this somewhere. Um, I like it. it. I'll test it and clean it. All right. How about the fish? This is five inches. This is um an articulated. Let me hang it up and get my fingers out of the um camera. I was so conscious about my fingernails, not gonna lie. Um, I mean they're clean. If it's still they're they're raunchy. Um they they're a little messy. Here. It's a five inch fish. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you coming. And it has, it has one, um, one in its mouth, a bale there. And maybe could, it would, it would have had one in its back as well. I don't know how it hung probably like that, but it's five inches. It's articulated. It has, it's like, is this a Koisin A fish? Um, I don't know. It's, it's gold tone metal and, um, <laughs> it's cool. It's bigger than normal. It's five inches. Here it has a little mark underneath the enamel, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, if anybody wants this, let me hang the fish off. It's a five inch cloisonne enameled, white enameled fish. That there is, I'm going to say, um, it's 25 if anybody's interested. It's pretty cool. It's much bigger than normal. Well, than I've had before. I don't know what normal is. They have bigger, actually. I've seen larger than this myself. But, but. Can you see that? Good enough, I guess. All right, there. It goes like that. That's its uh, underbelly. It's on the bottom now. Actually, I forgot to answer somebody on this fish. Um, I can get back with them on that. All right, we're going to pass on the fish. Psst, psst. There's a cat in the corner. It's midnight. Yeah, it's just, just a big fish. I don't know. You have to want the fish. Somebody told me they wanted it, and I forgot to answer her. I, I will go back to her. I'll pass on that. Um. Not that I forgot. I it it was a baby day. I called it Davy Day. Um, <laughs> you love it, but yeah, somebody said they had another one. I have to find the message. I I, I mean, I did try to answer as many people as I could. I get um, it's it's a, it's when I have the baby. It's a busy day. All right, I hmm. 
Yeah, you have to want the fish. You have to want to wear the fish. I don't know if I'd wear the fish. I think it's cool. I'd put it somewhere and look at it. All right. But um, I'm not sure I'd wear it. All right. How about... I have some vintage and antique necklaces if anybody's interested in that. I don't know if any of the people are here that are interested in that or not. I, well, I saw one person come in. Okay. So I will... How about this? I, I'll auction this. I'm going to start it at a price. This is, um, this is Bakelite. It's green <laughs> with polka dots. Let me measure it across. Um, I think it's an average size, like two and a half inches, but I, I will make sure of that. And I priced it somewhat, um, it's two and a half inches. I'm going to do a starting bid on it. This is what I'll start it at. I'll start this at 50. I think that's a good deal for it. And it is Bakelite. You can tell just by rubbing this one, I didn't have to even put it under hot water. My preference is heated water. I would rather not. Um, I don't like the uh, semi-chrome. You can tell by putting it under warm water. Um, hi, Rita. Or even just the friction, like rubbing it and getting it heated up, it actually um, will test. You know, it's, it smells like formaldehyde. But when you put it under hot water, you can really smell it if you have trouble. With the black ones, that's how I typically, if I have something black, um, sometimes I have to heat it. You know, to tell. Good God, it's hot in here. Normally, I think my heat was turned up or something because it's, I mean, and it's been warm out. I mean, it's been freezing. Today, it warmed up to 42. So it's slightly, um, it's slightly warmer. So now it feels extremely hot in here. All right. I'll just leave that there for a moment while I try to see what I'm going to show. Oh, there it is. Okay. I need a ponytail. I need to pull my hair up. How are you doing, Rita? All right. Okay. No interest in that. I got to put it online. I got to get stuff online. I'm, I'm very, um, neglecting that duty. All right. Um, what? Wait, what did you say? All right. Hi. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Let me see what I have left. Um, I have this citrine. This is antique. It's not citrine. This is glass. Okay. Um, I actually had a citrine necklace like this that was, um, I don't know what quite, what that means. How are you doing the quiver? This one is actually glass. And like I said, I did a, um, hold on. I, he's got plastic. Midnight. No, hold on. The cat eats plastic. I've got to grab that. No, 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 no. Make you sick. I don't know why he has an obsession with plastic, but he definitely does. He, he'll get it and um, take off with it down the, uh, and eat it, actually. All right, so this is, um, this is citrine glass. This is glass, color of citrine. It may need restrung, but it's still holding up. It's, um, this is vin very vintage to antique. I guess I can measure it. Um, who's baby? Who the cat? Who, who's who's baby? Um, twenty six inches on this. It doesn't have a clasp on it, and um, who are you calling baby quiver? All right, I feel like I'm having trouble hanging that up. All right, that right there. Yeah, I don't know what quite buy and let's have fun quite buy. Okay. Anyways, um this is this is citrine colored glass faceted and this is an old necklace. Okay. This is what I would want for it. Um uh, I'll do it for 32 if anybody wants it. 
Like I said, it may need restrung. It's very beautiful though, and it is it is old glass. I didn't try to glow it or anything. I don't even have a black light right now. But you can tell by the threading under it that it's very old. Right. And like I said, I think it might need restrung at some point because usually like the old necklaces do. Um if they're on like this type of thread. It's like the kind of like yarny or something. All right, I don't know. There, that's the best I can do. All right. I sewed a lot, uh, not all of them, but a portion of the ones I sewed. I do have some. Yeah, it's pretty, it's nice. It's not like, I think it could use a restringing though, really. Um, I, I had a citrine one, it was like five foot. I mean, it was citrine, Art Deco. Citrine with quartz. And I was hoping this was citrine when I pulled it out of the uh, bag that I, you know, with the jewelry I got, I was like, oh my God, maybe I have another citrine necklace. You know, like old citrine gems, but what are the chances of that? It kind of looks like it, but it's definitely not. This is actually just glass. And um, I tested it to see. Hi, Carolina. But it's pretty. You would want, I would string it. I don't know how to string. I don't know. I, um... I'm not sure. All right, I'll pass on that one. How are you doing, Carolina? Um, wait, didn't I still have? Was that you? No, that wasn't you. I'm so sorry. I I didn't invoice yet. I'm, I will be. I'll be invoicing um soon. I actually ended up, you know, I was over at my daughter's house watching the baby and I, I didn't get around to invoicing. So that didn't happen yet, but I will. Anybody, if you're here watching that pre-bought off me i will invoice you i don't know if i said i'd invoice like sooner um like, like today i i planned on it but i i when i got up you know with the lizard and the uh and the cats and everything it ended up like i didn't do it i ended up getting caught up in some other things so i never did it all right Yeah, I'm just gonna show anything. I'm pulling things out here. This um, this is a costume. We'll call it costume for the most part. It's a cameo. That is an amber gl colored glass on there, and gold tone with a vintage chain. She's pretty. Her hair's pulled up. Um, it doesn't have a maker's mark on it at all, but. I'll hang it up, I guess. Um, it's backwards. All right, that's. I think that's nice. If anybody wants that, I will sell it for for fourteen for this. I think it's pretty. All right, Carolina, thank you. I'll add it to your um your bag. Actually, a separate bag. Um. You know, that one I, I told you that has some vertigree in the one area. Um, that is you, right? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. The other one is, that's... One second. Let me make sure I'm not talking about it. Yeah, that's you. I'll put it in its own bag. If, you know, thank you. Just let me move about here. Um, get myself warmed up yeah that's you I, I wanted to make sure because there were, i mean there were a handful of people not not a tremendous amount i do have some things i i'm just gonna dig through this tray all right now this i i thought this is marked gold filled i put it on the gem tester i'm gonna show it in a minute and it's not going up far enough to convince me that this is jade so i'm just gonna call it nephrite glass um i mean green glass Okay, that looks like Jay kind of. Okay, here it is. It says 120th of 12 carat, and it's gold tone. And I, like I said, um, it's not going up there, so I'm, I'm going to call it glass. I'm going to measure that. Let me find my tape measure. It's seven inches. I think it's pretty. I don't test uh, gold filled. It does say it's gold filled and these are glass. Here's the back. 
Okay. So if anybody wants this, this I will sell for, for 15. And it's seven inches. It has a spring ring that clasp and it's marked with the gold fill marking on it. And it's actually pretty lovely. It's a nice bracelet. All right, Loretta, thank you. And hello. Let me hang this little thing up. All right, I forgot my, I have to, my, um, never mind. I don't need to say that. <laughs> I'm like, sometimes my thoughts are out. Things I can keep to myself. All right, so I'm just calling it green glass. I mean, it, it quite possibly could be jade, but like I said, it wasn't coming all the way up there on the jump tester. But thank you and congrats. It's definitely worth that, though, right? I think. Okay, um, let me see. I don't know if I ever even showed that, but there it is again. Um, <laughs> why not? Here, let me see. I have. This is beautiful. Look, look, look. This is very nice. This is old glass. This is um a spring ring clasp. Look how beautiful that cobalt blue glass is. It's really lovely. I think the color is very nice. It's about it's, it's about thirty at least thirty two inches. Let me measure it. I'll just slap a price out there. Um, thirty inches. Already well made. Hi, Patrick. Well made back what I spent. So, what did I say? 30 or 32 inches. Look how well made it is. I mean, it's nice. It's beautiful. Okay. There. It's enough, right? Um, I think I said 32 inches. The color is very, very nice. So, for this, I will do this for for 28. How are you doing, Patrick? I didn't invoice yet. I will. I just mentioned that before I got tied up. Um, okay, Kathy. Thank you. Not literally tied up i've decided that davy to you know the big he gets bored i've i've got to take him out i'm taking them to the aviary to feed the larrakeets okay i'm sorry kathy came first sorry ellie um i have other ones i think i just showed a citrine one maybe not quite as exciting citrine but it's, it's older okay. but it does need race in my opinion race strong not that i'm an expert on that but all right i think this is agate let me show this it has a, looks like agate, right? That or, yeah, how much did I say on that? Can you remind me? I trust you. Go ahead, somebody. <laughs> Kathy, do you know how much I asked for it? Um, oh, my God, what did I do with this? It's very beautiful, actually. I I had a, a oh, my God, like, hmm. 32. Okay, yes, you may have it. And you. I know you know how to string, so thank you. You have to show it to me when you do it. Um, it's really pretty, actually. Okay. That, that was your... Thank you. I, like I say, um, thank you. Congrats. Thank you. This is, I think this is agate. Doesn't that look like agate? No, I want to call it citrine. Just for the hell of it, but we'll call it agate. It's stone. I did zap it on a tester just to make sure. And it's definitely not glass, I can tell that. This is a short necklace. Came in with the, the jade and the garnet. The garnet sold. The garnet was lovely. Um, there's more modern garnet with the clasp on it. This that one was a not it didn't have a clasp on it, it was older. Um, hold on, I'm going to grab they have a newer one that kind of looks like that, um, with a clasp on it, a spring ring. But that sold um, as well. Sorry, this necklace is available back there. What do you think about the glass one? I showed anybody like that. All right, this is. I think it's nice. It's it's it's, it's a pretty simple necklace though. Um, twelve twelve bucks if anybody wants it. It has. That's what it looks like. It's short. I think I said sixteen inches. That my lights keep going out. I have no idea what's going on with that. God, I walked into my daughter's kitchen. Oh, and I didn't even tell her. She would have been more nervous for if she was not working. Her gas was on a small amount. I was like, I smell gas. The kids were playing in a room not far from there. The older ones, obviously, not the baby. He's supervised. All right, we'll pass on that. And do you agree, Taggett? If anyone <laughs> kidding, I it, I'm pretty certain it's not. Um, 
I thought this was rather lovely. Look. Amethyst and um, garnet on here pieces. I don't, I didn't test this. I'm sorry, I did not test the metal. Um, I did test the stones though. It's just the clasp and I think it's pretty nice. It would look nice layering. You have garnet and amethyst and it's a quartz in there and then it repeats itself. I like the shading. Anyways, it's it's pretty. If anybody wants it, that is, I, I don't know what it is. This is what it is. Um, it's 15. I think it's pretty nice. I should pass the other one in with it. Here, I can put the, you can have that one with it, okay, Lori? Um, this is Jade. Lavender Jade. Okay. All right. Thank you. I still have something for you. Um, Lori, you know, I was holding it because it was so light. I think you probably know that, right? I think I do still. Am I still? I'll check after and I'll know. I, you know, I can hold it up to eight. You know what the deal is. But, um, okay. Thank you. So that's, that's 15. I'll give you both two ne both necklaces here because why not? Um, the gemstone mine, I mean, I'm calling this one gemstone. That one's pretty, that's really nice actually for a dainty little necklace. It'll be good for layering. And you're welcome. Thank you. All right, let's see. Let me, let me pull the cameo. On. Oh, I, the cameo, I already sold it. Let me pull it out so it doesn't get crushed. Hi, Lori. Um, somebody at pri private buys a lot. Her cameo was underneath all of that. Does anybody like wood? I have a number of wood jewelry. I don't want to bore you guys with it. Why not? If you don't want it, you still have to take it um, or buy it. That's right, right? Oh, oh look at this. Isn't that pretty? Um, I don't know who the maker is on it. This is a little trinket box. Came in with an, um, I got an Asian lot. Um, you can get good stuff online. Not all of it's beat. You have to be careful where you get it at. You know what I mean? I got some quite lovely things this time. But this was in with an Asian lot with the um, Jade and... Hi, Lexi. Thank you for coming. Anyways, okay, guys. Never mind. I don't need to tell the whole story. This is... um. They look like crystals, okay? It's a fortune cookie. It has some weight to it. Let's bring over my handy dandy. I sound like um, Blue's Clues. Did anybody watch Blue's Clues when their children were young? Kirsten, you, I mean, I, I don't know. Your son's not as old as my older kids. He's young. He's closer to Eva's age, actually. They don't really watch that any longer. Um, they didn't back then as much. My older children liked it. Okay, so it's a fortune cookie. It has a good weight to it, and it's pretty nice. Crystals are all there. He did. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have a 32-year-old and a 12-year-old, guys. Talk about being insane, right? Um, It's fine. I love my kids. Um, they're very important to me. This I I did price this. Okay, I'm not gonna say oh, and it's tons of money online, guys. <laughs> but I'm not gonna charge anywhere near what I saw online. But it's it's pretty fabulous. There's the back. There's the hinge. It's unmarked. It's nice on the inside. Nice on the outside. It's a little fortune cookie trinket. But um, this is what I I would like for it. It's cool. Twenty eight bucks. If anybody wants it. I'm doing all buy it now, hair, aren't I? Um, that's okay, right? It's pretty cool. It's got a good weight to it. And it's about two inches. I didn't weigh it. Let me weigh it. No, not weigh it. I'm not going to weigh it. It's not gold. There's no point in weighing something unless it's going to go in your ear or it's gold. It's about two inches. And it's a fortune cookie. If it doesn't sell, it'll go in my background <laughs> for a while. I didn't see any markings when I looked. It's magnetic. All right. Are you going to pass on the cookie? Cookie. Hi. Hi, Michelle. How's the silversmithing going? I hope well. All right. We're going to pass on that. Yeah. When you're ready, you let me know. Okay. All right. I like the fortune cookie. I, I have a thing for boxes and vases. I have a collection of different... All right, different ones. Not to, not to say that I won't sell it, because eventually I will. Everything's up for price. Almost. All right, I have... 
I'm going to be showing things are shown before much cheaper than what I've asked in the first place. Um, this is pretty lovely. This is uh, moonstone and amethyst. You see the moonstone? Amethyst and moonstone, moonstone. This is sterling silver. It has any, that's the clasp. It is sterling. I tested it um, to make sure, but it's pretty. It has, what do they call it? Rainbow moonstone? Yeah, that's right. right. It's marked 925 and something else in the bag. Oh, good, good. This says India 925. It's it's a fabulous, they are stone. I tested the amethyst and you can tell that's moonstone. It's, it's nice. All right, if anybody wants it, here, I'll, I will, I'm going to, I don't know, people are, we'll see. 40, starting bit of 40, if anybody wants it and at that, I'm, I'm okay with that. But it's sterling silver. That is a heart, moonstones, amethyst, and moonstones, hair, amethyst moonstones and i didn't measure it but it's pretty I, I can measure it in case anybody's interested if not again i neglect to put things online i do sew online um 15 inches with a two inch um extender i sew on some on ebay um i've seen this sold three times at um some on ebay someone uh Mercari and some on Poshmark. I prefer eBay and Mercari, though. All right, so I'll wait another second. If not, Sharon will get this. This is very lovely, actually. Your, let me show. Did I show you the back? I think I did. Oh, so you actually go somewhere and cut stone. Do you know how to polish moonstone? I have a moonstone ring. It looks a little lackluster. Or was that Kirsten? Didn't you have a polished moonstone, Kirsten? Didn't I see on your community page? Or, or am I going nuts? I think it was you. I need to get, I would, I need to take a straw. Okay, Sharon, this is yours for 40 bucks. Congratulations. That's a good deal for this. Thank you. Oh, you know how to polish. I, I think it looks like it needs polish to me. The earrings sold, they were um pretty, oh, you can polish stone too, huh? Wow. Oh. How do you do it? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll have to take a class on. All right. Thank you for coming back. So this is for Sharon um, Bolt. Thank you, Sharon. 40 bucks is good for that, I think. Well, I know it is. It's lovely. Congratulations. I can't hold on to things too long. It's crazy. I seem to move it out. Move it out with some. <laughs> Why not? I made money on it. That's all that matters. So I don't need to hold it until I... Like forever, I, I think. I, I don't know. I'm not one of those people. All right. Um, I have one of Cal Sydney. I was calling Cal Sydney today. Somebody corrected me. <laughs> it went it's fine. I don't mind it. Um, This is nice. Look. This is kind of, look, look, they look like they could go together, actually. You see that? I'm pretty certain it's Cal Sydney, Cal Sydney though, and not, um, not Moonstone. But this has blue topaz on it. Um, let me look at the colors up close, please. I'm, I'm going a little bit blind here. Oh, yeah. God, possibly some amethyst. Let me show it to you. This is sterling silver, and it's like goes down into a Y. This one actually has a the type of clasp you expect to see on precious metal. You know, one of those. I call them a precious metal clasp. I don't know. I guess it's a lobster claw, but I think there's amethyst on this as well. Hi, Jennifer. Chalcedony, I believe. Kind of looks like moonstone, doesn't it? It's sterling silver. I'll give you a measurement and a quick price and see if anybody wants it. Hi, Thelma. How are you doing? You're back. No, you're not back to work yet, are you? It does look like moonstone. Uh, you might be right on that, but okay. Maybe it is moonstone. It could go perfect with that necklace. This is a drop around the neck of without opening it um you know you get a little bit extra when you open it it's it says 16 inches in a total drop of like nine and a half so and you know it's an eight inch drop that necklace doesn't matter well it doesn't matter because somebody already bought it all right so if anybody wants this um you just turned 50 
Congrats. Wait, and you, okay, okay. Yeah, Eva's, okay, yeah. Well, it's nice. It's nice. What do I charge for it? Um, This is what I'm going to charge for it. I'm just going to do a buy it now. We will keep it in the theme of that at $40 if anybody wants it. Hi, Bessie. How are you doing? Thank you for coming. Um, 40 bucks for this. So Moonstone, um, I have Amethyst and Blue Topaz in there, on there, and it's sterling. It could use a better cleaning. Um, I will send you a little cloth if you want it. I don't like dipping things at all, So, but it's pretty. The Moonstone's really... It's really nice on there. Okay, thank you, Susie. All right, we'll just moonstone and sterling. Yeah, I'm I'm liking shopping online a little bit, guys. I've never thought I would. It's it's not it's nice. Um yeah, I you know, I didn't get I did get that online actually. I got a really good lot. But all right, yeah, AARP. I get that. I get the senior dating sites. How they know I'm single, I don't know. I How do they know I'm single? Probably because they hear me on my phone complaining about having to do everything myself. I'd insulate my windows and cover them. Change my own tire. <laughs> joking. Irene's probably like, yeah. I, hi, Irene. Irene, I know she does her own stuff. I'm, I'm joking. Half joking. I don't like doing it all myself. I do. That's one thing I would like a man for is to do things for me. Okay. Um, This is gold plated when i saw it online i was hoping maybe it was real look it's one of these flippies i don't know who the maker is on this but it's this an actual amethyst and i did test it to confirm that's an amethyst and cubic zirconians on the side gold plated it's a flip ring you have cubic zirconians on this side let me give you a size on it and a price this is my uh oh. So it's a 10, I think, right? Look. It's it's bigger. Which there's nothing wrong if you can wear it on a different finger or if it's the ring size you wear. Um cubic zirconian gold plated. Unmarked, I think. Let me see if there's a marking in it. Um, there is no marking. This one. This is pretty fabulous. Um, I'd have to look in my messages. So Emily, Emily helped me figure out. This is Art Deco, I believe, or older. Okay, so yeah. this um, I found. I bought. I got that on a Facebook page. Somebody was having a sale. Yeah, why should you change it? Yeah, give me a thumbs up. I I never ask, but thank you. All right, this is that is an amethyst, and there's cubic zirconian on the other side. This is a size ten. Bigger ring. Nice, though. If anybody wants it, this is the price. It's 20 <laughs> Yeah, I'm told that it, it is. What do you mean? What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? I don't even know. I'm like, what can I say? It was funny, huh? Oh, it's saying about a man. Not wanting one, just wanting them to work for me. No, I'm joking. I, I'm kidding. It's not true. Like, I'm just joking. I have... Men are wonderful. Um, okay. Patrick wants this for 20. Thank you. I have another one too. Should I show that? Uh 20 for this. That is an amethyst, but it's cubic zirconians on here. Um, as well. And gold plated. I was hoping it was golded, honestly, through the picture that I saw online. It, it oh wait, you already have a bag too. You're the one you have a couple of things on you. Already. Here you are. Yeah, let me put that in the same bag. It makes it less confusing. Thank you. Look, at I have another one. Um, no, I thought this was cool, too. I picked this up at the, uh, I don't remember what I even paid for it. doesn't matter. Okay. It's gold. It says, I'm going to wait on that, all right? I, I just don't want to sew. I mean, I don't mind giving things like, you think I'm a comedian? I wish I could be. I was thinking of starting another page. Like, I don't know. Another page. Everybody would know it was me and they'd really think I was insane. Um, all right. This is nice. This is modern, though. You see. But very lovely. Is, anyways, look at the glass. It's very long. It looks like silvery vitriol glass to me. 
hi son yeah laughing is important to me it keeps me somewhat sane i mean it has throughout my life <laughs> thank you i appreciate you guys that like me i'm difficult i mean <laughs> i can be difficult <laughs> sometimes right eva no i'm kidding she's getting red sparkling um grape juice this is 28 56 inches 14 times four i'll show that to you soon that's fantastic this is 56 inches this is modern but it's fabulous look at it let me show it to you it does have clasps, so this could definitely be tripled at least on your neck maybe more all right if anybody wants this this is i believe this is worth that it's 18 yeah i talk i do sometimes yeah well i was in there with my my grandson i have a grandson the same age as eva they're seven months apart and i let them i let him go in his pajamas there's a guy like staring at him. i was like yeah he's in his pajamas i mean like some people are just like i don't know he had a robe and everything on it like you hefner all right 18 for like <laughs> But yeah, um, I do end up talking to myself and laughing. I try to keep that a little bit under the wraps, though, because I don't want to be considered completely crazy by people. You know, eh, nobody cares. I think everybody talks to themselves. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think there's anything. Uh, this is your first thing, I think, since, since this stuff was set up. What did Tanya say? I missed it. Yeah, yeah, I can handle them, I think. I mean, you know, I, well, I, I can be crazy. Um, <laughs> I try not to be. I mean, the one sale, I'm like, ooh, a little bit whacked. Anyways, I'm trying to be normal. Are you okay, Eva? Yeah. All right. When, all right, This right, I'm going to show this now. This is 9SQ. It says on it, this is actually Ross Simon. I do too. Sometimes I answer. No, I'm joking. That's the Ross Simons. Yeah. All right. Do you guys want to know what this meant? Look, it's look how cool it is. It's magnetic. It makes it comes out magnetic in there. And let me measure it. It's cool. I didn't know it was Ross Simon. I was calling him Simmons for a while and I, I I know it's not the right pronunciation, so I'm trying to remind myself. Call it here. Hi, Nikki. This is pretty cool. So it's 18 inches. It is stainless steel, and apparently Ross Simons has a stainless steel line. Those are crystals. It's pretty nice, I think. It's twisted. You see how it looks? All right. So for this, I didn't see this necklace, but this is what I'll charge for it if anybody wants it. 18 Ross Simon stainless steel jewelry. Which, if you go on a website, you'll see they have a stainless steel line. Some have diamonds. This is not diamonds. I mean, right? <laughs> like, it's crazy. They had a stainless steel chain with a diamond hanging off of it. But this is, that is crystal. Or, or um, looks like crystal to me. It's, uh, could be rhinestones as well. I don't know for certain. Okay, Sharon. Thank you. It's really pretty, though. I think it's classy looking. Yeah, that was fun. I appreciated them coming on last minute like that with me. You guys, I I was really, thank you so much for that. Um, We got to see what Kirsten looked like, too, there. And she looked good. I I know how it is to be self-conscious. Okay. Um, well, yeah, like I'm saying, I'm not saying you're a self-conscious person, but, I, well, I think you are. I, I, I understand it. I didn't have time to do anything with myself today. And I wasn't coming on makeup free, not to age. I, and when I was younger, I didn't wear makeup. Um, I don't wear much. I don't like makeup all that much. It was fun, though. I really appreciated it. All right. So this is Sharon's. Thank you, Sharon. Let me find your other necklace in here. There you are, you have a necklace I was holding on to forever. I kept on showing it. I was like, I'm going to sell it cheap. As I'm just going to make back what I made, basically. <laughs> I made a little more than that, actually. I got a good price on it. All right, I have 
Do I have any Trafari lovers out there? I don't know. Look at this. This is actually really nice. It says, it's Crown Trafari. This is mid-century. You're welcome. Thank you, Sharon. It's mid-century. The Crown Trafari is marked in here. The crown is over the T, and this is a medium bangle. This is 60s. It goes up to that, that maker's mark is 55 to 69, the crown trafari. But it has the little tag hanging off of it here. Look. And it says Jules by Trafari, it said under there. It doesn't have how much it costs, but it has the original tag saying that it is big name bands, one half inch. It's one half inch this way. And I think it's an average size. I could easily get it over my arm. There, um, my hand, not my arm. <laughs> It is. It's two and a half inches. Look, it's diamond cut and it's, it looks gold. It's not, right? Did I test this? No, it's not. Come on, it's Crown Trafari. Well, they do have gold. Don't, don't get me wrong. You're looking at older jewelry, though, that's prior to copyright. They have gold. Okay, um, all the jewelry companies have gold. I will buy it now, this, at, for this. It's a nice bracelet, brand new, has the tag on it if you're a collector. Or there are Trafari collectors. This is Crown Trafari, mid-century, a medium one. They must have had the small, medium, and largest, too. That was a big thing with Monet Jewelry Company in the 60s. They started a bracelet line that was small, medium, and large. Hi, Robin. Hi. Um, and they were, uh, but apparently Trafari did it. Oh, they all did, probably. You know, they tend to do the same things at the same time. All right, I'll pass on it. It's pretty. Actually, Crystal might like that. I She does, she has, I gave my oldest daughter some Monet, some of the stuff from like the 70s. She liked it. All right, I'm pulling out of a lot of different places. Oh, that necklace back there. Who asked me that? Yeah, she is pretty. She's, she's pretty. Um, she was on my channel. Didn't you see her there? Yeah, you were here, Irene, weren't you? Well, you may not have been. You may have. Well, you were here for a while. I know you were. All right. This is, this, I'm, I'm thinking this is Art Deco. Look, oh, this is fabulous, actually. And that's the clasp. It pops out, you know, comes out of there. Let me show you. It's like a pearl clasp, kind of. Um. And these, this is, I, this is like crystals, I believe. Um, well, look at it. Can you see that? I'm trying to show it. <laughs> All right. I'll say that, um, I'll measure it. Okay. Those, it's all glass. You have these. These are cut like gemstones. It looks like, reminds me of something that would be up on your, um, I'm going to measure it for you right now, Irene. That would be up on your um, chandelier. I have some lead crystal pieces. Um, I have a, an old ashtray um, that my grandson ripped apart with. <laughs> I replaced them. Um, this is 20 inches. How about it? Crystal's probably watching it. Like, I'm never going to forget the fact that my 12-year-old grandson ripped my crystal ashtray apart when he was like two years old okay um it's really lovely you see the black faceted glass and then you have those pieces 20 inches this this is what i don't know if i think how many people i've interested i'm gonna start it at what i would like for it and if it doesn't sell that's fine but if somebody else wants to pop in it's 75 it's 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 unique and This is a magnificent, pretty magnificent necklace. Um, you have that clasp. I didn't test it, but it's it's unique. I this is not the one I even noticed when I picked a lot up, but when I got it, I was like, oh my god! I had um a gold foil glass that's Art Deco in there. I had um I have a lovely milk glass sitting behind me. This is fabulous. That's this is unique. Um. I've never seen one like it, but that's the starting bit. If nobody wants that for that, that's fine. I'll, I'll hold on to it for a while and try to figure out, um, 
more about it and I'll probably hang it up and look at it. You know how that is. I mean, I do. I hang things just to look at. But I, I think I'll leave it hang there. I'll pass on it if nobody's interested. The milk glass is cute. Um, a lot of the necklaces sold. Not unfortunately, but they did because they do do prices. I have black glass there. All right. I'll pass on that. I'm gonna um I'm gonna hang it up back there again just so nothing happens to it. I don't like to mix my my stuff up like you know together in powder or anything like that because if it's something it can get messed up. What about milk glass? Anybody interested in that? Look at this. This one looks like 1950s by the length. In the ends, there's pieces. I like the little. That's the extender. It's black faceted glass and milk glass and then you have milk glass with black in between separating them this is shorter this is um probably like a 16 inch necklace it's cute well it can be worn 14 to 17 inches on this so the extender's three inches and it has a shepherd's hook a j-hook or a shepherd's hook whichever one you want to call it um it's milk glass like i said um I think it's cool. This is a price on it. No, but I do. I do actually have some coming. Um, anybody's welcome to contact me at the preview sales as well. Um, oh, really? Possible. I really like the necklace. It's fantastic. Okay, so for the milk glass, if anybody wants to milk glass, this is what I will sell this for. It's eighteen dollars. Um. Yeah, you can contact me ahead of time if you want. Um, I will have some coming in. I, I don't remember exactly how much. A um, couple of different places. Like I said, I'm sourcing a little bit online. It's it's uh, That way I don't have to run out six days a week and try to find jewelry. I still go out. I never quit going out. That's where I got my, my most recent find of the sneak, um, which is still in the box. It's not been sold yet. It's in the safety deposit box. Waiting. He's waiting. All right. All right, so I think that's like a 1950s milk glass uh, necklace. That would be 18 if anybody's interested. If not, it's okay. We'll put it back there. We'll pass on it. I may actually, I think I, I had definitely ended up early. The ones have been coming in quick. Look at these. These are lavender milk glass. I don't think I showed these yet. Or some kind of glass. <laughs> they have um, rhinestones all around. Look, these are clips. They're pronged. The clips are good. Yeah, if anybody, these hair I will do for, at least for 12. I did, they did, I'm sorry. Somebody pre-bought them. Always, always contact me ahead of time if you're, if you're interested as soon as possible. I know some, not everybody can watch immediately either, though. I understand that. But you can contact me ahead of time. They sold. I have the ring, but I'm thinking it needs polished. I'll show it to you guys. The ring may need polished. I, and I have no idea how to do it. I mean, I can probably figure it out maybe. Or do you have to scrape it or something? All right. These are glass. I'm calling them like a lilac milk glass. But they're a lilac-ish mauve pink color of clip earrings. I'm just going to leave them lay there. I'm sorry about that. Well. <laughs> I am. Um, stuff's kind of mixed up in here. I'm going to show things this necklace and offer it cheaper. And see. How about this? Did I, I showed you? Did I show you guys this thing before? Do you remember it? Look at that. Let's pass on the earrings. Just pulling anything out. Um, it's a big, fantastic loose light bangle. Um, it's it's a little. It's I think it may be. Um, let me see. This way it is measuring an inch and a half on this, but going in the inside it's like two and three quarters. Yeah, look. Anyways, look at it. Look, it looks like a sculpture. If it's something you would wear and like, it's, I didn't, the green on the inside kind of looks like Bakelite to me, but, um, Bakelite, but I don't, let me, I'm rubbing and get very hard here. 
I don't think so. It, it has to color along. Kind of. Not exactly like the polka dot. All right. This hair, um, if anybody would want this, um, I think it's cool. I'd sell it for 22 It's reminds me of like one of those old chairs back in the, the color. Ref yeah, people I know get busy. That's fine. All right, that's, I think that's loose. I mean, yeah, okay. It's a big bracelet. I tend to, <laughs> sometimes I buy them and they hang out a long time. Um, things like this. You have to be somebody that wants to wear that. I think it's nice. It's a little overbearing for me, I think. I mean, I'm not a tiny, tiny person, but it's, it's pretty big. Oh, let me see what's in here. Um, I just let me show this. All right, we'll pass on the loose sight bangle. Guys, is that ugly? You don't have to answer that. Um, this is a little cameo. This is black um glass. Looks like a West Germany, but it's not signed. She's pretty her hair's pulled up, she has a headband on. That's the back. It can be worn as a pendant or a brooch. And this is about two inches. I'll measure it for you just so you have an idea. Yeah, it is like two inches. And can you see the face? I feel like it's like hard to see. I think it's the light shining for me. Um, her all right, anyways, here, I don't want to spend too much time on this. I'm going to sell it for $12 if anybody wants it. It's nice. It's a nice brooch. Um, cameo. A costume cameo brooch. It is black glass. I don't know if it's any special kind of black glass or not. But it's black glass. <laughs> I'm not going to call it yet. I, I just think it's black glass. And I don't even, honestly, it's uh, probably, I don't know vintage not real real vintage it's pretty hi melanie and thank you thank you the girl the woman's pretty on it well let me look at it it's 50s or after her hair's pulled up though she is not a ponytail girl but they still made ones at that period that weren't ponytail girls you know but it's pretty nice thank you melanie what did i said 12 on that on the cameo yeah i'm trying to stay rule with it you know sometimes i get like uh no i needed a break i think everybody needs a break from time to time and um look look at this guys this is kind of cool this says god um i think somebody told me it said god does it say god possibly okay this let me tell you what it says on it the marking is sj and actually it might say god i think it's a company that makes religious um jewelry but look it looks silver plated but we'll call it silver tone i don't know what it is but if anybody wants this i think it's cool it's it's nice it's a nice shape it's 10 bucks and i believe it says god it's gold tone in the middle and these are silver tone it has the appearance of a plating i don't there's the back. It's a brooch, and it's in good operational order. The uh, roller on there is working. But does that say something? I don't know. I don't know if it does or not, but it's hair. <laughs> I had it, so I picked it up from beside me. Um, why not? We're, we're going to pass on that, I think. And I don't know what it says. It does say God? That's what I thought. Cool, huh? Maybe I'll give it to my daughter and make her wear it. Oh, not the youngest one. Another one. Another one. How many do I have, right? All right. Um, I have three. I, I've shown this before. It's a very nice brooch. I was hoping it was Niger. Niger. Am I pronouncing that right or wrong? But it's not, I don't think. Um, you want that quiver? Okay. Thank you. Or Carrie, I know your name. I'll just call you quiver. I'm sure you don't mind, right? Call that the God pin. It's a nice, it's nice. The colors are um 
Let me see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Somebody told me that. I didn't know what it said at first. And I was like, yeah, I think it does speak a lot. All right, this is vintage. Um, there's the piece in the back. You see it's kind of like a tube hinge, but not quite. Um, and it looks like it's gilt with gold. And the material, these are glass material. I don't know if it's coral or not. I, I'm going to say it's not. Okay, but it's very nice. If anybody wants this, I will sell this for this. I think it's definitely worth 22 bucks. It's a vintage brooch with little flowers all around it. These are a glass type, some type of glass. And that is a, a plastic, possibly celluloid. I, again, don't, I'm not quite sure um, it, what it is. Um, but it's big. It's almost three inches this way. And this way, it's probably like two. It's pretty. It looks like coral. But, again, I don't. It's made to look like coral. I don't think it is. So you have the leaves partially covering the ones on the side. It's pretty. It has kind of like filigree in a way. And I could probably clean it up a little in the front. You see the back. You can definitely see it's gilt with gold. Probably brass under there. It's usually in the material that they would use underneath the, um, the gold gilt. I clean it. I'm terrified to clean it. Because I destroyed one um, that was uh, gilt, and it was not. It was pinched back, and and I I don't know how I messed it up. I put some kind of chemical on it, so I'm a little afraid to clean the older brooches like this. But we'll pass on that for now. Um, it would definitely look better cleaned up, so you could see the um, the shine better. But all right, let me see. Is it okay to sell flowers this time of the year? Isn't that nice? Or should I save this for my spring sale? What do you think? Um, this is cool. Look at it. Polka dots. White on black and black on white. Gold tone. Um, it's metal. And these are fully pronged. This is a nice, nice brooch. It's like four inches. If it doesn't sell, I'll be holding it until I have my... It's like four inches. Look, it's a... Um, this could go on your coat. You see the pin? It's a, it's a longer, it's a big pin. You could wear this on your jacket as long as it's not too heavy, you know, too thick. But it's pretty nice. If anybody wants it, I will sell the little, well, the flower for 18 It's very nice, actually. Looks like a gold plating on there. Let me see what it's marked. I think it has a marking. It says, it's, a, it's Avon, actually. That is an Avon. It's pretty. If I don't sell it, I have a bunch of these. I probably have like 20 flower power brooches, maybe more. I'm going to put them all together and um, like around springtime, I'll offer them. See if they don't sell. Or I might put like a humongous lot online and sell it. All right, I'll pass on it. It's the middle of the winter. Right? It's pretty though, I think. I've offered these before. I'm going to offer them again. I'm offering them cheaper. These are freshwater pearls um, and sterling silver. And look, they're little like button pearls. You have a gray. These are natural colored. They're not dyed. You have the gray, you have the champagne, and a white. If anybody wants them, I will sell the three pairs of pearls and sterling silver. The sterling silver post and probably backing. I didn't lock. Ten bucks if anybody wants them. They're little button pearls. The grayish color. Um, these are white um, and champagne like pink champagne. They have a nice luster to them. They're oh, hard. Um, I left them on there because that's what they were on. This is something I, I don't know anything about the company. Something like this I don't really research because it's on, I mean, it's on a card. I don't think they're worth all that much. But I'm going to pass on them. They're nice though. They're nice and they are sterling silver and they are real pearls. But they will pass on them. Um, let me see what I have out of this spin. I have, oh, I have a, uh, eh, this is the brooch hair that I overcleaned. It's for, it's going to come back. The color is supposed to come back to it. We'll see how long it takes. I got a large stone. I, I mean, this is stone. Okay. Look at it. Um, I don't know if it's like tumbled stone. I look at all of it. Like it's just a big stone necklace. It's long. <laughs> I'm going to hang it up. It's like 36 inches. I mean, it'll fit anybody. You see what's there? 
Okay. If anybody wants it, this is the price for it. Um, I'll sell that for 14 if anybody's interested. I've shown that before. I know I have, but there it is again. Oh, I never shown this. I wanted to. Let me show this pretty little ring. I forget things that I show. It gets hard. Um, you may go over to weight limit, Lori. It's okay, right? And then I can send two pounds. Okay, this is heavy. This is all. I think it's related um, quartz, actually. Um, all right. Thank you. But if you go over it, then I can fit two pounds. It's a lot of jewelry. And it's only, it's not a whole lot more. Thank you. It's just definitely probably eight ounces at least on its own, I would think. And I said 14 on the, what's, what's called a quartz necklace. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm going to put it in its, um, its own box. So, I mean, its own bag. So it doesn't crush anything because it's extremely, look, it's very heavy. It has some weight. Okay. All right. I have things. <laughs> things. Thingy things. Oh, good God, I'm not my tray over. It's, it's heavy. I don't, I don't want to show anything. I, um, I start to get, like, I don't like showing things over and over again. I'm going to tell you, it bothers me. Um, I did sell a lot of my jewelry lots over the holiday. Remember, at the week of Christmas, that's what, that's why I sold on Thursday, too, so I can't say I didn't sell at all. But I did a, um, I did jewelry lots. I sold a lot of it. I still have the stone one. I'm waiting for payment. I think they want it. But I I sold a decent amount in those. And I feel better about it. <clears throat> All right. Let me. I think this is gold filled. And I. Poor my recollect, recollection. These tested as gemstone. I could zap them. I'm going to offer it at a good price either way. Um, so. Even if they're not, they're still worth it. But I, I guess I'll let you know. I, I turn it on. It's R-U-S-S-E-L, Russell, 120th of 12 karat gold filled. And it's a scarab bracelet. And it's vintage. It has a safety chain on it that's in good shape. This could use another link added to it, but I don't have a gold filled link, so I didn't put it on there. But I'll tell you what it measures. What stone one? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll email her and see how it's going, if she still wants it or not. Somebody, they asked me to wait, and I, I, I said I would for a little while. Um, But yeah, it had a lot in it. Did you see it? Um, The stone craft lot sold and it's been paid for. That one, that jade that was in there, it was amazing. This is eight inches. Um, But I wasn't fixing it presently, so I decided to bulk it up. It made me feel better to clear some things out all right we definitely i'm testing these to see if they go up above definitely if tiger eye and onyx or maybe i don't know it's definitely tiger eye i don't know i'm so it is glass it's going way up on a tiger eye the other ones it's very it's um it's questionable okay it has the hieroglyphics in the back this is a scarab gold filled scarab bracelet it was you. Yeah, you got that. I know. <laughs> you got this, the craft one, not the lot, not the other lot, right? Did you get that yet? Oh, I, okay. Yeah, I have to make sure if she wants it or not. I don't want it. Okay, yeah, I could. Or I could just contact you. I'm fine with that. Yeah, is it Jade's fantastic? I hope you're able to fix it. It doesn't need much done to it, as you can see. Um, It just needs to class fixed and... But okay, if anybody wants this, gold filled, we will call them glass. I know that's tiger eye. It looks like it, and it's testing past glass. Gold filled scarab bracelet, eight inches. Could use a jump ring put on this end, but could be worn without it. Um, here, I'm going to sell it cheap, and somebody can fix it. Um, it's nice. It's $15. $15. I do think they're all stone, but... I, again, I, I'm not sure because certain things don't test on the jump tester. You know, you know, if it's glass or not, I don't, I get nervous when it's not up far enough. Do you know what I mean? I like to see it go up further to confirm that it's not. And it definitely did it on this one, but the other ones, it's questionable. All right, Nutter, thank you. I've sold you before. It's, it's, I think it's been a while, but right. Haven't I? 
Oh, good. I don't know if I even need one. Could you swing me a quick email, please? Send me, not swing it. <laughs> um, just to be safe. Yeah, look, that's that's pretty nice. I it's been a little while. I I oh, I think I knew who you are. Is your name Carmen? I'm not gonna give your full name out. Okay. If you're Carmen, well, just send it just to be safe. Okay, that 15 bucks for the scarab cold filled. Thank you. I guess it's safe. Um, better to be safe and sorry. God, I'm running out of bags, guys. So. I said I'd stay on as long as I could. I'm going to keep dragging it out and seeing how it, go <laughs> how it goes. Um, swing. Yeah, I get told the kids, like, uh, me and Davey are going to roll out. And they're like, roll out? It's like, yeah, Grandma's about ready to roll out, literally, you know. I uh, talk like I think I'm, I don't think I'm cool. I can tell you that. Um, I really don't. All right. Let me, uh, <laughs> this poor little thing. Um, let me put her back there. I'll figure out what that is. Then I'll sell it or keep it. All right. Um, what else? What was I going to show? Did somebody ask me about something? I don't know. Let me see. I have pewter. <laughs> A pewter bracelet. This is called. Well, it's Domicine. Reed and Barton Domicine with a registered trademark on it. Um, an R in a circle. And do you guys know that company? I do, slightly. Reed and Barton. B-A-R-T-O-N. Reed is R-E-E-D. And it's a little cuff bracelet. Let me see. It's, it's probably two and a quarter. It's, it's, um, not a very, no, 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 I don't know, it's a little over a two and a quarter. Oh, so that, I think I know who you are then, okay. You, you don't have to, I'm not going to say your full name, I know who you are. Okay, um, I, I remember I'd written down for a while until I got used to the names I used to do that. Okay, this is pretty, this has like, I think those are those, um, is it like a cherry blossom tree? Can you see that? My, it's, I, I feel like there's a big shadow. I think you can see it, right? It's sort of a big shadow. All right, it's just, it's a Domicine Raiden Barton little bracelet. I don't know what it's worth. Here's what else. If anybody wants it, it's 12 bucks. It's pretty. Yeah, I think that's the cherry blossom tree there. And Raiden Barton's a company. I Do they do Domicine? I thought they did Peter. I'm probably wrong on that. It's pretty. There's the marking in there. Actually, I think I've had a brooch of theirs before. I think it is cherry blossoms. I'm having, I have a glare, like, coming off from all these lights around me. They do flatware. Okay. That's where I've heard of them then. I know I've seen, I've had at least one piece of jewelry. You think it's made from flatware? No, it's Domicine. They must do jewelry too, right? I don't know what the content of the metal is. It doesn't say. I'm assuming it's something like stale or something. Doesn't look like sterling to me. Although I did not test it. Okay, we'll pass on it though. I'm going to leave back there, that little one. All right, let me see what I have. Let me see what other things I have from my mod. Like I said, I have a lot of wood. I'm not going to pull that out. Oh my God, I can move this. Give me a minute. I may still have it. Maybe that's where it's re where I recognize that. Oh goodness, I struck that flower. Yeah, I think it's pretty. I think the bracelet's pretty. Anybody interested in AB? Have I, have I drowned at you on this? Um... <laughs> Gemstone. What kind? Uh, yeah. Um, I don't think so. Not right in front of me. I sold some pre-sale. Uh, what kind of gemstone? Oh, how about this? Well, this is not gemstone, but look, isn't that pretty? This is a costume ring. Um, I probably have some gemstone laying somewhere. I... Well, I don't think it's in front of me. I sold most of the stuff that came in my lot. Um, my my haul, I mean. I don't know. I This is costume. Oh, really? 
I sold the jade, definitely just sold the jade. Um, turquoise. I think I have a liquid turquoise over there. I don't know if it's real. I'm afraid to sell it. I hate to say, I mean, I, not that I hate to say that I've got to confirm it. Um, tourmaline. No. Jade, there could be some floating somewhere. Maybe I'll look in a little. Um, this is, this is eight. This is a size eight, like for, but it can open bigger. It's a costume ring. I think it's really pretty. I don't know the metal content. I'm going to call it it's silver tone. But I think it's a pretty ring. This measures at least two inches. No, I have that too. I'll show it to you. I can zap it on a gem tester too to see if it's real. Okay, for, for this little ring, it's one and like a quarter inches this way. And it's, I don't know, those are cubic zirconians. Um, they definitely shine like it. And they're open in the back. Look. But I didn't test the metal and it's not marked. So I'm assuming that it's, um, I don't know, here, if anybody wants it, I think it's a really, really pretty ring. It's 20 if anybody's interested. Let me hang it on something. Here, we'll hang it on there. I'll show that in a minute. It's on a stretch, that little necklace. I'm not sure if it's... um. That's what it looks like. It's a costume ring. I don't think it says anything. Let me look. I've had it. I just... I never... Never tested it. I don't suspect it to be sterling or plated or anything like that. Well, actually. All right, I'm going to pass on. <laughs> if anybody wants it, you could still have it, but I don't know what the metal content is on it. But those are not, those are like cubic zirconians or crystals or something there. It's like a little, it opens. It can open to be larger. I think it's really pretty. I um, I like it. All right, let me get it. Let me zap it or not zap it, but test it and see it comes up as um i do have the gem tester on my presidium it's a little tiny elephant on it so it's definitely some kind of stone it's carnelian or agate okay um obviously you can't see that on a gem tester it's not going to tell you uh, it doesn't tell you carnelian right now. That's not the right kind of stone. Um, but it can tell you. Um... Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, it's a pretty ring. I thought it was nice. Let me make sure. Okay, and make sure it wasn't touching my hands, okay? Or near any metal, because that'll make it go up, the warmth. Um, I'm going to call it glass, okay? Just to be safe. It's And I'll sell it as glass, obviously. It's cute though. Um, look at the little elephant. Yeah, are you a nurse? My, my oldest daughter is, takes a lot of patience to do that. That's opaline right there, the glass. Let's see, and a tiny elephant. This looks like cinnabar, but I'm not quite sure the ball's on it. It's stretchy. And then it, it's, I think it's cute. There's the little elephant. I, I'm selling it as glass because I'm not really, I'm not sure. Anyways, it's cute. It's cute for 10 bucks. Look at it. All right, Lori, thank you. But I, um, yeah, it, it could be Carnelian or I, I, I'd rather sell it as glass because I don't know. Thank you. Sorry, Kathy. I see, I see Lori first, um, for that one. Let's call it the elephant necklace. The elephant stretch. Let me find your bag. Thank you. All right. Um, what did you have? I should know. Um, I'm taking everything out. Like I said, I'm trying to work myself around to a better process here. It'll happen eventually. Um, that is a red That's a pretty sad. Yeah. Oh, wait. You're over there. We'll put it in with that. Thank you. Put it in with the bigger necklace. Um, okay. You're welcome. Let me move it. So I've got too many of these little busts around me. I think that necklace is nice. What do you think about the brass, like, little dangly necklace back there with the glass on? Does anybody like that? 
Do they make you wear gloves stone here? My daughter wears them, one of those N95 masks or whatever they are. She's going into some sick, like people that are chronically ill and have cancer and things like that into their homes. So she kind of needs to wear it. No, well, she, I, she's been wearing, I mean, you have, yeah, it gets hard. You, they use their hands a lot. Is anybody interested in that? Or are you guys tired of it? <laughs> I feel like, you know what? I, if you, when you get a lot and they're in there, like in a jewelry lot and you get a lot of them, they, this is Laguna. This is beautiful. Um, it's Laguna, 1960s probably. It's, and then this is a B. Um, I'm going to offer it and see if Amy wants it. Okay. It's pretty. It's triple strand. And I will hang it up probably on that small bus there should work. It has a one inch, a little over one and one half inch extender. And the total length on it is, wait, that's wrong. The, ex, uh, the extender is three inches or two, three, 14, 14. It can be worn 14 to <laughs> teen inches. Yeah. I mean, I, I, have to ask are you tired of seeing it is Anna showing a lot of this I sold a lot of it and all right but this is a beautiful one 14 to 17 inches and it's vintage Laguna it's a B glass I did clean it it has the little bi cones in the middle uh, glass I'm not calling it crystal it's pretty if anybody wants it this is a good price for Laguna 15 bucks triple strain you can wear it as a choker it's light enough um, you know, on your, up on your neck, on your throat, or it's very pretty. Hi, I'm targeting you. I am quiver. I'm in your head. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Becky, 15. It's 15. There you go. Hi G and hello, Sarah. All right. Oh, it's 15, Becky. It's right. It's pretty. I'll see if, well, I haven't found a pair of stearings or somebody, I think you were looking for this. Um, but this is Laguna. AB. I had the earrings too. They might be hanging somewhere. Um, hanging. They're just hanging out. It's short. Uh, all right, how long have I been on? Huh, I might keep going. I'm going to go until I draw. I'm joking. I'm contemplating not being on Thursdays anymore. Are people going to at, at quite as often? Anyways, I will still be on. But maybe do it occasionally or something on any day of the week that I feel like it. You know what I mean? Pop up whenever I want. And I mean, it's it's just, um, I don't know. We'll see. Should I, I don't want to show that. I don't even know what metal silver that is. All right. I have... Um, Thank you for coming, guys. I appreciate everyone being here. All right. And I can't, I don't want to show that. Here's the Moonstone, guys. Um, oh, I'm contemplating one day a week. I could come on for a little while if you guys are going to miss me. I don't know. Do you miss me ever? Do you? <laughs> Joking. Um, all right. Let me show you the Moonstone. Let me put my ring back on. I guess I'll, I'll do tomorrow for a little while and since I haven't really announced it yet. Um, maybe. I mean, I... Delara. So, okay. Oh, that necklace with the glass piece on it. Wait, I don't know. I... All right, look, guys, do you think that needs buffed up? See what it, I, I've got this in with the earrings that sold. No, I still have the fish. I'll show you the fish. See what I, what I mean? It, it, Tanya or Kirsten. <laughs> I don't expect you guys to be here. Um, I know everybody gets busy. People have lives, um, kids and stuff to take care of. But I think it needs buffed. If anybody wants it and they can buff it. You don't think it, look, I mean, you can see it glowing. It kind of looks like a moon. It is a moonstone. Okay, maybe it doesn't need buffed. You can see the blue. Can you see that? 
I'm talking about the stone. Does the stone look flat, guys, to you? Or, I mean, I can see a blue. Do you see the blue? Let me put it on my stubby little finger here. It's pretty. I'm selling it. I'm not keeping it. Um, it's nice. I had I bought it with the earrings. It was a small lot, and the earrings sold already. Um, this is at a seven, but could be made larger. You see that? You think it is a chemical burn? I think it needs buffed out a little bit. Um, I'll sell. I'll try to sell it. Well, the blue is beautiful, though. Look at that. You can see it coming from within. Okay, so it's at a seven, and it's sizable. It looks hammered, like ham on the outside anyways, both well, in the inside too, look. There's the stone, it's opened in the back. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't mess with it. Um, I know people clean them, though, I mean, polish them, I don't know how, it's not marked. But it's definitely sterling. I pat. I ch I did test it, and maybe it's not hammered. Hammered. That's patterns, actually. What kind of? It says nine two five. I'm wrong. Right in there. It is, and it can be sized. Um, it's pretty. It's a nice ring, actually. It might need a polishing, or you can wear it like this. Not all of them are shiny. You know what I mean. So I'm not really sure of it. You think it could use one? All right. I don't even know if it's damaged necessarily. Um, I was just saying that, I mean, I could see the blue. I didn't, but anyways, here, I'm going to sell it at if anybody's interested. It's at a seven and it can be sized bigger because look, I think it's a nice ring. I will sell it for that if anybody wants it, 28 bucks. Let me show the fish to you in a second here. Nutter. I'll grab that out. Okay, Kathy, thank you. It's a nice ring. The earrings um shines a little bit more. Sorry, I'm hi Yolanda. I'm sorry. Kathy came in first. Um for the let me get the fish. It's right here. There it is. I'm gonna show it next, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um Kathy came in first for the ring for, for 28 to Moonstone. It's nice, it's it's worth that. And if you can polish it, if you think it needs polish, when you get it, you can decide. What do you think you need, if it needs anything done to it or not? Um, let me find your bag. I don't want to have, like, more than one bag. I got confused. Um, I get confused if I have too many bags. Where's that, you? You're the glass. Okay, thank you. The beautiful glass. Um, oh, my ring. Here's the fish. Look. It's five inches. You can put one in there as well, a, uh, a veil. But this is um, metal, obviously. It's articulated. It's five inches. It does have this little marking underneath there. It's underneath um, the polish that's put over it. But it's a five-inch fish. So I'm going to hang it up. This is what I want it for. It. Um, that, well, yeah, that necklace was amazing. I pulled that out of a box, not going to lie. <laughs> that was an amazing find in the box. Um, I was like, oh, my God, so beautiful. Hi, Christine. Um, okay. This fish is five inches, white enamel. That's a koi fish, right? And it's articulated. It has gold trimming. And it's cool. This is what I was asking for the fish. A 25, it's a big fish. It's five inches. I did kind of price it. That's cool. You want that? Okay, Nutter. Thank you. It's cool. It's a cool fish there. All right. I think they call them poison A fishes, right? Like, I know they're koi fishes. My, my cousin used to have, uh, she still has them probably in her pond, koi fishes. I just haven't seen her in quite some time. And thank you. Thank you. All right, let me, you have another bag, right? Let me find you. Um, this will take a second, guys. This is what I could use a sidekick for. That and, and to help entertain you guys. You know, I, I want one. I don't have one. It's sad, isn't it? That's full. 
um, trying to talk the child in. I couldn't bring my 12 year old on anyway, so I'm kidding. That's not great. Didn't you buy something off me just now? Or am I? Yeah, you did. Because I remember asking you. Okay. I'll find it. I moved the cameo. There you are. You've got the, um, the, uh, gold filled stair bracelet. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Adrian. Okay, I found it. I'm working. I, I need to improve upon the one drawer that I'm using. I'm thinking when I move, I'm going to have a big table beside me and keep like trays of stuff. But ha ha thank you for coming, Adrian. Hello. Because it's, it's gets hard, then I have to go through the bags. It is a benefit of having a helper, but I don't have anybody to help me. <laughs> I, I can handle it. This is my job. If it was like a different, if I was doing other work, it might be harder. I have this black glass that is strung on silk, but it's not modded in between. Look how long it is. Now, I was thinking it was jet. They're like bicons. I don't know, though. It is light. I'm going to call it. It's glass, according to me, because I don't know. It's a spring ring clasp, and look. It's very long. Again, I... You don't get jet real often here in, in, the, in our states. It's not a common thing to find. But anyways, um, it's more common and different. I think over in the UK, it's a lot more common. 20, 12 inches times four is 48. <laughs> Pass the math test. Um, choking. Anyways, this is nice. It's 48 inches. It has a, these are the bicone. It does not have knotting in between, but it's, um, it looks like it's strung on silk. You know, the fabric under it's very soft. And there it is. If anybody wants this, I've had it for quite some time. It's a nice necklace. It's good for layering. And that was my hand on the thing. Um, if anybody wants this, this is the price. Um, it's a nice necklace. 15 bucks. I have one in my drawer, too, that's a little bit different than this. I always buy them. I'm trying to slow down a little bit on glass like this and plastic. I have a lot of plastic necklaces. I, I can eat the same amount. Oh. Hi, Christina. Thank you, Christine. Right. Let me make sure I wrote your name right. There's. I don't want to get confused. Congrats. It's really nice. If you know Jet and it is Jet, swing me an email and tell me, hey, it kind of looks... It quite possibly is. I see. <laughs> I don't know, though. I really have never. I don't think I've ever seen it in person, like, to confirm to know if it is or not. So I'm, I'm just calling it black glass. Thank you. In the bag. Look at that. Oh, wait. Did I? Oh, that's, that's somebody else. Somebody at pre emailed me. I put her stuff over to the side. Um, let me move this thing out of my way. Um. I already show what I showed towards the end too, if you guys want. Uh, well, not I will. I mean, not if you want, and I probably will reshow it. Um, this is the plastic necklace. Did you remember this? <laughs> I just showed this last week. Look, I sold the one. This is cool. Look, it's a plastic. I love plastic. Those are little swirls, lime green, and. Maybe that's more of a summer type thing, huh? More rings. I have a, like an emerald here, a raw stone one. I'll show that. All right, if anybody wants this really long plastic necklace, if not, I'm going to put it away. Um, yeah, that was really light, but I don't know. I just, I, I have to, you know what I mean, have confirmed to be able to tell. Eventually, I'll know, but I can't tell. It is light. It's lighter than a normal, what I'm used to with the, the glass. This is 13 times, what's 13 times 4? 52? Yeah, this is 52 inches and it's plastic. It's cool. It has these little. All right. Well, oh, thank you. It's very kind of you, Axel. All right. That's plastic. <laughs> I sold the other one for mu much more. I mean, this is a nice, not much more. I didn't sell it for a fortune or anything. It's a cool necklace. Um, if anybody wants it, this is why I will sell it for. It's 14. It's very long. It's 52 inches. And it's plastic. This is plastic. This is not like any 
like it's not bakelite or anything like that i although i did not test it but it doesn't feel like it would be all right it's a plastic necklace it's going to go enough to summer stuff if it doesn't sell with all the flower pins that i have i have a large stockpile of hold on a minute it doesn't smell like it either it's cool i had one that was a sherbert color that one sold um last week somebody actually asked can i please have that one and they wanted that one but it's cool i like i said i i like plastic it's an insane amount okay i'm gonna pass on it and it was nice of them to say sometimes you know all right this is going into the plastic <laughs> and with the summer jewelry um and i need to stay away from plastic because there's a huge build up and some japan i've been looking for a red necklace um for thelma i have been looking for it i have moonstone earrings look at these these are i wait somebody asked me about a ring i have this one i can sell i'm calling it raw emerald i don't know if it is for sure or not but they test okay it's sterling marcasite and emerald are you in the bahamas right now that's nice i've never been there <laughs> it, it, it yeah it's a pretty picture i did see it though that's six and a half sterling and marcasites and emerald pieces in there six and a half it's pretty oh oh well, enjoy your time there if anybody wants this i will sell this for okay you see it it's marked 925 it is sterling i've tested i've actually worn it for a little while i will sell this i think it's worth 32. i mean it's worth more than that i think but that's what i will so yeah the bahamas is supposed to be beautiful are you, you guys aren't on a cruise i don't know how far you live from there i bad of ge um geography it is it's pretty nice actually it's a six and a half I mean, if you have smaller fingers, you could be wearing it up on there. My fingers are a little, you know, they're not as skinny as they could be. Um, but yeah, you could, if you're smaller, it would, you know, you could fit it there. All right, so 32. Oh, it's just a buy it now. So there you go. Um, thank you. Congrats, Adrian. It is pretty. Like I said, I'd worn it a little while. And I try to, you know, not to keep too much. But it is really nice. Thank you. How hot is it in the Bahamas? It warmed up here. Actually, it's not as bad here. Oh, really? Oh, that's cute. You have green eyes too, actually. <laughs> My middle sister's green-eyed. Um, I'm blue myself. It's pretty. I'm a sapphire. I actually have a really nice sapphire. I bought off. I bought it off Jen Sunday. Um. What am I going to show you guys now? I have this. I don't know the dating on this. Okay. I, I can I admit that. Um, It's very, it's light. It's nice. It looks 40s to me by looking at the class. Okay. I've shown this before. I'm going to offer it for less. Like the repose type cameos here. It's nice. This is nice. Looks Art Nouveau, but I, I don't think it is. And like I said, this, um, the dating on it i'm not sure i thought that the class kind of reminded me of like 1940s look let me show it again here's the back i mean it, it is aged a little you can see that and these hug your arm like you put it on it'll hug your arm there and they're soldered on here on the bottom this does kind of remind me of gina what well, gina well i don't know if it's gina yeah, she, it's a nice bracelet, actually. And she, well, Gina has a nice jewelry. I'm not saying she doesn't. But, yeah, this is a beautiful bracelet. It's nice. I mean, I think that a lot of people might would wear it. Seven and a half inches, just about a little bit over seven. It's very nice, though. Um, hi, Judy. I don't know if I saw you before. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to offer it cheap, much cheaper than I did before. Um, again, I'm not sure on the dating. Let me show you what it looks like in case you know. 20 28 bucks um it's questionable to me i i don't know i i have to I'll admit that but it's nice it folds over and it's around it's about seven inches and there's what the lady looks like on there she's pretty looks art nouveau 
All right, Cindy, have I have I sold to you before, Cindy? If not, just email me. No, but, um, and thank you. Twenty eight bucks for it. It's well worth that. It is brass. It's not magnetic. Um. Okay, so my email is. Uh, you have okay. Okay. I've had it for a while. Came in with a lot of jewelry, and I sold everything else just by except for sweet. Look at the sweetheart person. I'll show that. But you have to know how to fix something, and I'll offer it really low. It's gold filled i think i don't know i'll show it just see what you guys think this is um so i have sold to you said okay if i'm sorry if i forget there's it's, it gets hard sometimes what's called a lady bracelet she definitely looks certain if though with like what's blowing around her head there but again i'm not sure it's pretty though it's very it's very nice bracelet this is the sweetheart. Well, it has a little bit of an issue with it. You would have to, maybe I should try fixing that. Never mind. Maybe the jeweler can put a stud in it. I mean, cause these go for a good price, um, fix. That's a sweetheart bracelet. It's gold filled. I, I can take it up to him and see if he can fix it for me. I don't know how to fix that anything at this point like that. It's difficult. Right. Um, this is an enhancer, a oh, very small one actually. This is nice. Eh. <laughs> One minute, I'm looking at this uh, piece here. Um, look, it's one of those, um, what do you call that? Mirror back? It's a nice color. Look, the, the brass. It's, it's, I, it's an enhancer, but it's not very big. Look, I think it's an enhancer. It could be something else. You see that? You close it there. And there's the back. It's gold tone. I mean, it's brass, actually. I don't know if it's gold. I'm sorry. Hold on. This I've had this for a while. I, I should know this. But it doesn't have a marking on it at all. I'm just going to call it brass. I did not test it. I mean, gold filled I don't test, but I can usually tell. kind of looks like it, but we'll just call it brass. It's mirror back. And... I think that is an enhancer, right? You would put that on a chain. It wouldn't fit on pearls, right? Unless it was very... It's nice. I did have a pair of earrings that kind of that were Emmons, and I don't know where they're at. But anyways, if anybody wants this, this is vintage, definitely vintage, and it's 20 bucks. Everything's upside down in it. Okay. It's uh, obviously, it's not a pulls of light. I know that or crystal quartz. I don't think. Let me stick it on my gem tester and see. It's it's glass. It's mirror back glass. But I'm upside down when I look in it. I guess it's just the way they have the glass place back here. It's pretty cool. A bolo. And then what do you do? Pull your chain up with it? I'm going to pass on it. I should really test it. It's probably 20. It's probably like 10 karat gold or something. I never tested it. It was in my in the box for quite some time. That that happens sometimes. Here's the earrings. Look. Don't... Here, I did find the earrings. Look, they match pretty well. Let me show you. What else? Look. Those are the earrings. They don't have the rim around them, like the trimming. But these are Emmons, which is that a vintage Sarah Coventry or 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 Liz Claiborne, I can't remember one or the other. But I have the earrings that kind of match it. I'll wait for that, though. That's, I didn't see the earring there for this now. All right, let me see what I have in a new bin. Like I said, I did pre-sell a lot of that. Um, oh, look at this. Okay, somebody I did tell me what this was. Look, did you see this little coil? Look at the um, opal. This is antique. Can you see that? <laughs> Look, it shines very beautifully. Um, it's like, it's jaggy on the end. It's low carat, like eight carat gold. It stays uh, solid on a 10 carat for, for a very long time. But that isn't a beautiful opal. And Garnet, somebody told me this is a pin that goes in your, like a button pin. Button thing. I, I had no idea what it was. Look, it's coiled up. Antique, the, but the, that is very beautiful. Anyways, um, 
I don't know what somebody would do with this. The, the opal is incredible though. Look at it. I'm, I'm having a hard time showing it. I'm not one to like have my fingers like right in the camera. Um, and this is hard to show. Can I stop it in something? I don't know. Is anybody interested in it? <laughs> um, whatever. Here, I will offer it for this. If anybody wants it, they can have it. If not, it's no big deal. I'll keep it. It's low carat gold, eight carat, probably nine carat. Um, and it's a coil. It, I think it goes in your sleeve. It's very strange. It, it came with an antique pin. It was in a lot with a couple of other things, so I have it. But the opal is pretty amazing. It's like a fire opal. All right, I'm going to pass on it. That's something like, what are you going to do with it? Me? I will sit it somewhere and look at it. Because <laughs> it's pretty. It's not something that's really useful, though. I know that. Um, let me see. I hate, oh, well. This is Japan. Look at this. This is not long, though. Let me tell you, this is a short one. Um, you can choker it onto your neck if you have a very thin neck. Um, well, I mean, well, actually, it's 15 inches. This would fit a lot of people. Total length is 15 inches on it, so it could be worn collar length or like a choker. And it's signed Japan. And these are red rhinestones. This is vintage. Um, it does say Japan on there. Somebody like has it threaded on here. I just noticed that. I can put a piece in there though. It's really pretty, but it's it's short. So you have to want a short necklace. So let me show you. The back has that. It has um. You can make it as short as you want. If somebody has a thinner neck and wants it as a choker, but it's very pretty. This, if anybody wants it, I, I'm doing doing all buy it nows. Um, I will. That's thirty. If anybody's interested, it's very beautiful. Let me show you the back. They're rhinestones. There's like those are darker, like red wine color up there, and then the lighter. There's that. Um, how long have I? Oh, I've only been on like two hours. I said I'd be on as long as I can. I have an antique pin here, brooch here that has a C clasp and it's gold filled. And I'll show that in a minute. It is marked C T. I think that's the maker of this. Six something else on there. All right. Um. It's pretty, it's gold filled. This is pretty cute. Look, I'll pass on that one. I've never worn it yet. Somebody gave me that as a gift. Um, well, it doesn't matter. People sell things. All right. Uh, it's a C clasp, as you can see. This is small. This is like one inch. It's purple glass and it's, it's antique. It's three quarters of an inch. It's really small. Like you can see. It's purple glass, actually. There's the back. I already showed it. Anyways, it's an antique, almost an inch. If anybody wants it, I will sell this for for 22 It's gold filled. It does have the C class. There's something marked on it. The maker, it's CT, and there's another. I can't make out the other letter, but it's, um, it's cool. See, it's purple glass. It's really small, though. Nothing wrong with small brooches, right? All right, let me see if I have anything else I'm going to show. Um, I've been on almost two hours, actually, just about. Yeah, that's cute. I don't know the maker on it. Um, Ring-wise, do I have any more rings in here? I'll pass on that. That's pretty cute. I'll put that in my Victorian collection. Um, I, I'm trying to collect a little of that. All right, let me see if I have anything else I'm going to show. Um, I have a lot of, I showed a lot of what I, I mean, I sold mostly everything out of those lots, except for the Bakelite bracelets laying back here, but I already showed it. Um, I didn't sell that. I already didn't sell the Cornelian. I'll bring it another time. Oh, God, I'm a struck. Hold on, guys. I'm a struck tree. 
It's full of stuff. All right, good night. My daughter's probably playing a game in her room um, right now. So her, she has a resolution. She wants to stop playing video games so much. That's, I think it's a good one. She's 12. This is very nice. Look, uh, but thank you for coming, Sarah. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Look, those are flowers. This looks very, um, this is not silver. I don't think that I, no, it's not. I like, you, well, hold on. Let me scratch it. <clears throat> like I said, I was, um, not sure if it was, I don't think I ever tested it. I, I just want to make sure. That I'm, You never know. No, it's not. It's not. It's I don't know what kind of metal. It just looks like a, like a pop metal or something. You know, it's a vintage bracelet. It says it's a panel bracelet. It's five panels. I have flowers on here, and I think I'm is that a mermaid? No, I'm making things up. What is that? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. All right, a fish. Is that a fish? I don't know, guys. Look, what is that? You can see the flower, a flower there, flowers up there, and then there's something here. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's upside down. There. That looks terrible, doesn't it? Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay, but it is a panel bracelet, and it's vintage. There's what it looks like in the back. I feel like I'm really close to the camera. It's nice. Here, it has a fold-over clasp. Let's see. All right. I'll measure it. Looks Art nouveau -y. I don't think it's that old, though. That looks like a fish or something, or cornucopia. There's flowers on it. I see that. And it kind of looks scaly. Either it's a fish or... I don't know what it is, guys. <clears throat> doesn't matter right it's it's a bracelet anyways it's a vintage bracelet it's a size it's seven inches and it's got a good weight to it it's a nice it's a nice bracelet if anybody's interested in it i i will sell it for this for 22. i don't know what that thing is on there um though can you see what i'm talking about can you guys even see that i don't know what happened to my bracelet bust Okay, I'm sorry. Here we go. Is that good? <laughs> All right, I'll hold it still. I'm just gonna hang it on my hand. I'm I'm joking. Don't get upset. <laughs> All right, maybe I should hold it this way. Okay, it looks kind of like a fish or something. I have no idea. All right, I'm gonna hold it still. There. Is that long enough? All right, it's nice. It's definitely a vintage bracelet. It's not sterling silver though. Kind of looks like a mermaid. I don't know why a mermaid would be on here. Flowers, but there we have it. Um, that looks like something. I have no idea what it is. All right. I think I have that still long enough. I'm going to put it back there. Maybe um, I'm starting to get hungry again. All right. I Let me see. I said I was going to be on all night. I, I don't know if I will be. I have jade earrings. I have turquoise earrings and sterling, the little wear more ring. Um, I've shown this be, yeah, I can't tell either. I had a hard time with it. This is sterling silver and Laramore. This is, um, a size. I don't know what it size. It is small. It's a five. It's a five and a half. You see. Anyways, this is a, a small little, it's a small little chunk of layer more and sterling and if anybody wants it here we'll put it on the middle finger there no, we'll put it on that a finger if anybody wants it this is that's the price it's 12 bucks layer more and sterling it's a five and a half 
Oops, I did test it. Um, I've had this for like quite some time, hanging out here, um, different places. And it has, what's that marking in there? I don't know, you hear the ambulance or the sirens going past my apartment? Can you hear that? Oh, wait, it says something on the inside. This says 925 and I think PP or... But it's a tiny little layer of horn ring. It's cute. You can hear that. Sorry, I don't have any background music on. It's normally not that loud, loud though. We'll pass on it. All right. I think I'm losing my zest. Ugh. Is there anything in particular I can show you that you may know that I have? How about me? I'm done completely. You guys want to see that? <laughs> I'm joking. Um some personal me I made completely. Uh, it's frightening. All right, this these are turquoise and sterling. These are nice, actually. These are a vintage pair. They're unsigned. They are sterling, and they are turquoise. Maybe I should hang it up. Let me take these down. Oh, I'll hang them up. They're, they are unmarked. I tested them. They're definitely sterling, and that's a piece of turquoise in the middle there. Um, and they're, they're, I think they're vintage. I'm not really sure how old they are. Somebody, Silversmith made them. I don't know when they were made. Okay, but um, they're not signed. I can tell you that. And they are turquoise and sterling. Anyways, if anybody wants these, these are about uh, three quarters of an inch. I saw them for 22. I think that's a, let me measure them. Come on. They're almost an inch. Turquoise and Sterling silver. That's the only thing somebody asked me if I had turquoise. That's about it here. And they're different shaped just slightly, but they're stones, so they would be, right? Um I think they like they kind of slightly different looking, you know what I mean? Just a slight bit. But when they're real stones, they actually are. All right. I um I'm going to put that there. It's 10 o'clock. I think I'm going to be done. I might come on tomorrow. I contemplate. I have to invoice everybody. I know that. Even if people pre-bought off me, um, I have to invoice. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show a few more things. Is there um, is there anything anybody was waiting to see that I had um, that maybe I didn't sell? I Like I said, I sold most of it. But I have that necklace back there that looks like chandelier pieces. Um, oh, no, I just dropped a piece of one of those earrings somewhere. I've got to find it. I found, um, because I'll forget about it. Here it is. I found, I have a pink sapphire and gold pin. I found it under my desk. Um, let me see. I have, it's a regular sterling, like right in front of me. I, I can show you what I have here, Susie. It's, okay. Those earrings I'll just set aside. I don't have any turquoise rings, I can tell you that, but um, I have, I sold a little emerald one, um, hold on, I have a regular sterling one here, and let me see, I cost him a few, a little Siam silver tip ring, it's cute, actually, well, this is the sterling one that was in, um, I showed this yesterday, it's marked 925, it's sterling, and let me find a ring here. This is not a gemstone or anything, though. It's just a, like a little stackable ring. It's a size 7. Do you see that? Like... That's not... All right, I'm sorry. I'm trying here. This is it. It's just... I didn't weigh it. It's, it's sterling. There is no stone. See, the design's cut into it. And it's a size 7. Uh, it's a nice ring though, but it's it's 15 if anybody wants it. There's that. I have that. I probably have other rings in these trays before me. I could look. Give me a couple minutes. I can look and see what I have. That's sterling silver with it's cut out. Like the designs are cut within the hand you know, sterling. And it's probably like five, six grams. I didn't weigh it, but it has a little weight to it. There's that. I don't have any big gemstone ones in front of me here. I'd have to look and price and everything for what I have in my 
my box. <clears throat> it's hard to just pull price out on some things. Um, let me see. I have a pair of moonstone earrings that are vintage with a French hook. A little pair of pearls and red glass. Those are not a ring. Let me see what rings I have. Hold on, I'll pull it. It'll look for a tray. I have trays all over me, all over the place in here. Um, I have a black glass one. Hmm. That's Laramore in amber. It's a simple ring. What kind of ring are you looking for? Is there anything in particular? I don't have any huge turquoise ones, I can tell you that. Except for mine, I have a couple that are mine, and I'm, I'm not ready to sell at this point. Um, but besides that, I don't have any big, like, rings. Just simple. I layer more in uh, amber. Flippable. And that's a uh, sterling and gemstone. I do have a garden, a ruby one. Um... It's over in my box. Let me look. Let me pull the box out and see if I can sift anything out. <laughs> that can be so put easily without. Um, I have citrine. Um, what do you? What kind of stone? Or does it not matter? Um, let me look. I don't. This one is citrine and. That's gold. I, I, sell it. I have this sterling and um this is cool. It's a star sapphire, but I'm not sure if it's uh I have a really cool Alex uh Alexis Batar ring here. But that's not gemstone. All right, let me see. I here it is. That's really pretty. Um This is sterling, and it is ruby. I'm not going to glow it. It's definitely ruby, and the little piece ones on the side are diamonds. They're small diamonds. I don't have my flashlight, so I'm not going to glow it. And other things glow that are not sterling, or not rubies, I, so that's not a guarantee. Moonstone. In front of me, I don't have any. I have some coming. Um, <laughs> I have that. That's a very beautiful ruby ring and it's it's like braided over hair and there are little diamond pieces like diamond chips in there that's ruby i think that this one is wait no wait that was sterling the citrine is sterling prada is the brand p-r-a-t i mean this is nice this is a lovely <coughs> citrine it's almost as beautiful as i have an art deco one here i'm not selling this one but look they pretty close color it's a beautiful citrine and the, the signet the maker is p-r-a-t-a -A. and this is a size six it's a size six it even tells you that in there it's a very beautiful citrine and it's i think they call that cushion set right see how it's sat in there it's beautiful actually it's a, more of a ring well, you could wear it on a pinky or a ring. Um, it's nice citrine. And that company, you have an eight. Okay, this one's a six. Let me see if I have an eight. The the art deck, that one wants sound eight. I don't know if I have an eight here. I have a beautiful blue. Let me see what size this. The ruby is a seven. Let me see what else I have here. I wear from a six to a seven. I like bigger, it's more comfortable for my fingers. I'm a little, I swell. Um, this is not gemstone. Oh, wow. And it's big. It's beautiful though. That's like an 11. I wear it on my thumb. All right. Um, I don't think I have any eights. I'm sorry. I do have rings coming in. I ordered some next week. I will have rings, a number of them. I ordered like a couple of, I found, um, like I said, I know I'm going to be going out shopping. I'll keep an eye out for Moonstone. Um, anyways, these are mainly my rings. I would sell out of them, some of them. I'm sorry. I'll look for an eight for you, though. Um, I can try. I know there are, I mean, there's a lot of people selling on here. 
Um, somebody probably has an eight. Right now, in regards, well, let me see what this is. This is opal. This is a beautiful opal. How much for a ruby? <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying here. <laughs> let me, one second. Um, it's really pretty. Oh, this is a little older to look. Okay. Anyways, um, it, it's a very, it's pretty, it's a beautiful one. Um, I'd sell it for 50, the ruby. It's a beautiful, um, it's a nice ruby. Again, I, I don't know if it's lab created or natural, but it's fantastic. Um, it's a nice ring. And they're little diamond chips. See how it's braided? Little tiny, they're chips on the side. But that would be 50. I mean, it, it's it's worth more than that. It's pretty beautiful, actually. Look, It's a beautiful ring. It's a nice stone in there. I do have this bigger opal. What did I do with it? I just pulled it out and I shoved it somewhere. Okay. So um, that would be for that one. Nobody said they want it. Let me pass. The opal's more. I can tell you that. Where is it? What did it? Oh, here it is. I picked it up. I think it might be an eight, maybe. Let's see. It's a little bigger. Well, maybe. It's a seven. Look. These over, these here are, um, you want the ruby purple? You may have the ruby. Thank you. I'll put that in a bag for you in just a moment here. This hair, these are, um, these are, uh, these are, uh, one second, I'm testing the stones. These are clear topaz. And that's a very beautiful, look, oh, look at that. This one's a little bit more. I'll just do a buy it now on it. It is Mark 925. And I tested it to make sure that it actually was. And it's very nice. Yes, yes. I'll put that in a bag for you, purple. Thank you. It's really pretty. Um, that opal and these are clear topaz. Look how it looks. It's like a pair of steps, and that's very, very nice. If if this one, I would want this for. Um, seventy five. It's a nice ring. Did I give you a ring size? Those are. That's not glass. It's topaz on the clear topaz on the side. Of it, and again, I think I said a seven. Yeah, it's right around seven for that beautiful opal ring. I've worn it a number of times. Don't use, you know. Anyways, okay, Yolanda. Thank you. I'm gonna put these both away. And um, what else do I have? I'm not gonna sell the Alexis guitar. I I like that. Um, that was a gift to me. That thing's. Okay, so opal is for Yolanda, and then I'm going to put purples in. This is 75. It's sterling silver opal and clear topaz. You're welcome. And um, the ruby is very pretty as well. I think it's really beautiful. I liked it on my thumb. <laughs> and tiny little diamonds on the side, so 50 for purple. Ruby and diamond chips. All right. Um, I don't know what kind of opal that one is. I'll wait on it. I think I have a fire opal here, guys. Congrats, Cece. I, I keep things till I learn. I look at this. I'm not selling this one, but look how amazing this one is. I got this at um. I like the modernist approach to jewelry, like chunky big things. Look at that. That's gold, related quartz. But that's gold pieces in there, and this is scratch signed. It's big. It's it's bit just about. I think. What sterling ring for 15? This is amazing. What st <laughs> a sterling ring for 15? Which one was that? Well, of course, I there would be a sterling ring for 15 with me. That's not that unbelievable. I sell stuff pretty cheap. Um, I got to remember purple. Um, what did it look like? Wait. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Um, um what did it look like? On my hand? <laughs> oh, that. Yeah, this is amazing. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. It's a great ring. Wait till you get it. It's very well made. Okay. Yeah. On that hand, they thought you meant mine. I have this costume. I was selling that for more than that. 
<laughs> this is 20. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> I don't know what the content in the middle is. Okay, I'll put that in a bag for you as well. For 15 for the sterling silver. I, it's kind of like a staff room. Let me find yours. All right. Um, I did order some amazing rings that um, are coming. I got your ring in a bag, both of them. Um, like going on, so buying online has been a big eye opener for me. Anyways, um, this is Thailand sterling silver little fingertip ring. Wait till you see this little thing. Oh, it's so cute. I don't know what the markings are on it. You're welcome. Look, it's either a pinky or a tip ring. It's tiny and you can make it bigger. This is going to be really cheap if anybody wants it. Um, it's been hanging out. Right now it's at a four and a half, but it can get, it can be enlarged. It is white enameling. And actually, could be stone. Okay, I think it is under there, in there. You see that little, but I don't know for certain. So don't quote me on it, but it's sterling. There's some kind of marking in here. It's Thailand silver, which is really good quality silver. And this is a little fingertip ring or a pinky. And I, this is 10 bucks if anybody wants it. That was in the tray. I think that is stone, um, possibly coral turquoise, but I don't know. It is white enameling though. And it's adorable. Like, especially if you have nice nails, which I, it's something I got to work on uh, that would look adorable on your fingertip. All right, Yolanda, thank you. Little Thailand tip ring. For Yolanda. See, I'm still here. I said, <laughs> I said I was staying on. I guess I am uh, for a little bit longer. That's Yolanda with the opal. Thank you. The opal's beautiful. I wasn't even intending on selling it, but that's fine. All right. Um, I mean, obviously it's fine, right? What else do I have? That's enough for the rings. The rest are mine. I didn't need all of them, though. Like I said, I do have sterling pearls. Look at how cute. Does anybody wear anything like that? These are earrings. Um, that's glass. I let me zap it just to see, test it. I think it's red glass, and these are yeah, they're freshwater pearls. They are rice pearls, not extremely small. I have two of them. <laughs> that's not just one earring I'm trying to sew. Um, I have a nice little look at the little pearl bracelet. To, I'll show that in a minute. It's pretty nice. Okay, these are rice pearls. Let me find the here it is. Sterling silver rice pearls in a red glass, if you like that type of thing. Um, it could use wiped up. This that is sterling. I tested it. I can recall these. I I like red and pearls, so I've had these. I've had these for a little while. But I was, these are if anybody wants them, they're they're ten. They're cute. You have um, see the rice pearls there in, in red glass. That's glass. Sterling bar, no hook in the back. There's those little earrings and I have a lot of costume. I have a nice, I think these are nice. These are handmade. These have a French hook. These are vintage. Let me tell you what they say. These are moonstone. I can't read what they say. It's sea something, I believe. But like, um, but they are sterling. I tested them. Look, moonstones. You know, it's, All right, they're nice. These are vintage. They can use a cleaning. They have the French hook on the back. Let me see if I can see what they say. I'm going to pass on those little earrings. I don't know. They say see something, but they are sterling. I tested them. Let me get rid of these little earrings. These are moonstone. These are nice moonstone. These are vintage um, earrings. They Be careful cleaning them because of the moonstone, but I'd, I'd wipe them more than anything. I don't. I think baking soda would probably scratch them. Oh, I, did, I didn't pass them the little earrings. These are nice. It's like hooked on. They're actually soldered on there. Anyways, if anybody likes these, this is what I'll sell them for. Twenty-two clear moonstones. They are not the rainbow. That, those are nice earrings. Actually, very nice. All right, Sharon, thank you. They've been around for a while. I think I offered them at 50. Well, yeah, I don't know. More, they're, they're, worth, they're worth more than 22, but congratulations. I know that. So I did offer them for more, and 
then I I lower things once I have them for a while. That's that's how it goes at most places, I think. Thank you. All right, you got to didn't you get the moonstone necklace for me too? All right, I have. Um, let me see if I have any other sterling hair. It seems to be. I do have these bird earrings hair. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna offer them cheaper than I ever have and see if they go. If not, I gotta put them online and put them. Not that I'm being lazy. It's just um, you know, it's time, time as time allows. But thank you, Sharon. You're welcome. These are parrots, um, or some kind of bird. Okay, these are Tasco. One of them is signed. One is not. They're sterling silver. And if you're worried about like heaviness, I can weigh them. But I'll show them in a minute. They're signed Mexico to TC two fifty four. I think nine two five. Like there's the back. <laughs> there's some kind of bird. Okay. They are on wires. I guess they're parrots. Or macaw. I, I, I really don't know. There's some kind of birds in their task coat. I don't even know how old they are, to be honest, on these. Um, but they're cool. And if anybody wants them, they're 22. I'm going to stick with 22 for now. I can weigh them if you're concerned, if anybody likes them, if you're concerned with the weighting on them, um, I can weigh them. There's sterling silver and Tasco. I don't know how old. I mean, they're still making Tasco jewelry. I it seems so I have some old brooches here from an, an antique lot that I purchased to show. Um, These things, um, these I've seen them online. Actually, I gotta get them online. I'll just undercut everybody, and they'll go. Or I'm gonna pass them. <laughs> that's what I do. Not undercut. I sell cheaper. You know, that's how you sell things. Like when you're online, you know. I'm sure you guys know that. If you want to sell it quick, you make it lower than everybody else, and it goes quick. This says, "This says I am loved." I've shown this before. It's sterling and very lovely pearls. Look, those are freshwater pearls, and they are. I don't know. Okay, it's got an email. All right, this is pearls. Um, I'll look at that soon. I'll be invoicing tomorrow, though. I don't have enough stamina to do that tonight. I wish I did. This is eight inches. Those are pearls. I don't want to call them potato pearls. I just feel like it's ugly. <laughs> but the word is these are knotted in between. Strung and knotted, eight inches, pearl says I am loved. And I think it's all stir it's marked 925 there on the clasp. Anyways, if anybody wants this bracelet, I will sell this for for 16. All right. Well, pearl knotted. And I guess they are potato pearls. This I have pearls close to that shape. But um I the, the luster is pretty nice on there. I could I'll pass on it. I could pair it up with that. All right, I'm running I ran out of silver. Um and it's it is getting late. <clears throat> but there's still people here, so why not? Um this is turquoise and sterling. It's a stick pin. It's nice actually. This is probably nine, like nineteen it's vintage, like nineteen seventies, I would think. It's not marked, as far as I can see. Okay, thank you, Cindy. I did see your email pop up. All right, if anybody wants this, this is sterling silver. This is a stick pin. It's vintage. It's 15 bucks. It's a nice little blue. I don't know the type of turquoise, but it, it is turquoise. And there's the bottom. It has a bottom on it. I don't know if the bottom's sterling or not, but this part is here. All right. We'll pass on the stick pin, I think. I don't think I have any more sterling. Um, and I sold everything except for the bake light and that out of my set, I think. Oh, and my fortune cookie didn't sell. We'll pass on that. The fortune cookie. Fortune cookie's pretty cute. It's kind of heavy though. Um and the tiny pins, those, I don't know what's going to happen with those. But I've gone through a lot here. Um, I have some some older jewelry. Um, this looks like it could use a bath. Um, but look, it's antique. 
that's painted it's pretty i'll show you the back again this is 15 if anybody wants it the flowers are painted on there it's porcelain yeah it feels like porcelain and there's the back it has a c class that could use wiped up a little bit but those are actually painted this isn't transfer it's an actual painting and you can see it on there and it's that is antique it has gold trim around it it's old it's an old pin all right I think it was long enough, right? Did I show it long enough? I know I move a lot. I think I've shown this before. A lot of the stuff that I'm touching on now, I have shown before. Let me see what else I have that was new. Nothing really. Um, I, I have a pair of jade earrings. Um, these. I think these are gold plated. I didn't even, I didn't test them, uh, honestly. I, I didn't. Um, but they're jade. And they have that writing on them. I didn't even magnetize them, but... Um, let me look at them real quick to see if they say if any rating on them. Sometimes. I don't know. They're cute though. They're jade. No pair of jade. I'll call them gold plated, gold tone, we'll say. And those are definitely jade. If anybody wants these, the, these are that price. The heart brooch, um, yeah, I'll move. Am I moving fast? That, um, I think it's Victorian actually. I was asking 15 for it, which is a great price for this, really. It could use a cleaning. If you want me to wipe it up, I will, or you could do it yourself. Which one Which one do you want, Cindy? It didn't break. <laughs> do you want these jade earrings? Or this is, I believe this is Victorian when I was looking. Is this the one you want, Cindy? The jade. All right, let me know if, if anybody wants this. Um, yeah, they're pretty. I can throw gold tone backings on the back. I, I'm pretty certain they're just gold tone. Let me see if the links are, are closed. You're, you're welcome. Um, yeah, the, um, you said please. Uh, okay, I said you're welcome, but thank you. No, I don't think they're gold. I think they're probably um, plated because, um, you know, the linking, the way the links are. Okay, so this is for Cindy. The jade is 12, I said, right? Thank you. You're welcome. I'll put a new backing on the back of them. Um, and then Sharon wants the heart. Thank you. I will just like my printer sheet of paper. That's how I. So 15 for. Pretty sure it's Victorian. Um, it's definitely antique. I know by researching and it popped up a couple times. Victorian. I'm going to be honest. I'm, not, I'm learning. I am learning. I know what pinchback is now. I'm proud of myself for that one. I can tell you that because I, I didn't know what that was a month ago. Anyways, <laughs> but I can't pick it up uh, quickly now. From I saw it in a video. Um, somebody was I saw um, Dana was showing it, and then um, yeah, I actually have one. I have a goldette necklace. Anybody want to see the opalite goldette? Is anybody into goldette? It's beautiful. 1960s opalite necklace. Hey, I have it online, um, but it hasn't sold yet. I don't know what I have it at, honestly. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Or did I take it down? I don't remember. Anyways, when I sell things, I do make sure I go and take it. It's terrible. I mean, it happens to people sometimes. They sell something out, um, like on YouTube or whatever, or on another site. I don't use list perfectly. I don't sell enough online to do that. They charge you. This This is nice. So you have to be an opalite person um, or a goldette and want the vintage goldette. I'll show it real quick and offer it. It's very pretty, though. Look. This, I believe, looked kind of like Egyptian revival type of thing back there. But this it's 1960s. See that? I don't know what that is. That's my guess. That's very pretty. I gave my daughter an, um, an opal, um, opaline. It's opaline, right? Or opalite, is that the same thing? I don't know. I gave her a necklace for Christmas. The oldest one, not the 12-year-old. Anyways, it's signed Goldette. And these strands have, you know, the opa, opaline pieces and a little pearl earring. Okay, it's long. I'm going to double it up and just hang it up here. <laughs> it's pretty. Maybe I'm not presenting as good as I could, but look, these, they're, they're in here. All right. 
it is like a fob and it kind of looks would does anybody recognize what that is back there kind of looks egyptian to me but i don't know don't i who knows it's cool and it is kind of like a fob it's a gold at 1960s gold at now this is what i will ask for if it doesn't sell if this is it's fine i'll just um keep it and do something with it later 50. that's nice so it's reversible look you can switch it around and back again and around it's beautiful actually it's signed gold at okay patrick thank you i'll add that to your bag thank you that's a good price for it honestly I, I can find one of these online right there um i gotta put people's things in a bag it's piling up here um keep going like the energizing bunny um my my goal is honestly is to be on one day a week just more out uh, more time you know what i mean i think ideally for anybody that's better um to be on one time a week instead of two you know what i mean it's it gets it's hard but it's it's opalite so my <laughs> opalite or opaline my daughter loves the necklace i when i didn't like know how to identify what that was i had a cho like a 1950s choker that i gave her that's beautiful it does kind of look like a fob though and it's reversible it's a spinner all right let me put that i'll find your bag um you, you have the uh then you did you get the you have the jade, I think, not the garnet. The garnet's somebody else. Um that's sent one of minutes on me, not you guys. I I have too much stuff. All right, thank you. What else do I have? Does anybody want to see anything else? I'm I'm down to 34, but I just keep going. <laughs> no, I don't know. Maybe I'm done. Um I have some little silver. Oh, look at this little clear. Oh cute. This is Weiss, look how tiny. It's pretty, it's Weiss, it's vintage. It's clear rhinestones. It's like a little, it's clustered. It's more than one layer, more than one level. I mean, you know what I mean? It's an inch. That is Weiss, vintage Weiss. If anybody wants this, I will sell this for, for 14. It's cute, you have to. It's kind of like a scatter pin, but this is an inch. And it's signed Weiss back there on a cartouche. And I think this is like 60s or something. It's a guess, honestly. I don't know when I stopped making jewelry. I I did read it, but it, that's things escape me. It's cute. I found so I, I got to put my, I have, I keep little scatter pins together. This looks like a Weiss bracelet. A fob is like a watch fob. You know what those watch fobs look like? Um, this is rhinestone. That is unsigned. Anyways, I thought this was Weiss as well. I've had a number of the Weiss crystal ball necklace and like bracelets like that disco ball, but this one is not signed at all. So pass on that. Let me see if I have anything else. And I'm going to round it up and shortly. I mean, I'll, I'll stop shortly. Um. like this <laughs> this is from out of the lot um i that is not cinnabar though i i wouldn't call it that okay it's some kind of plastic and these let me test these actually these are glass this is a simple you want to see the fortune cookie i'll show that to you in a minute it's cool it's a little box this is fabric and it's class there you have it this is a necklace if anybody wants this this is the price of it and i have extra words in there 10 10 bucks the fortune cookie is adorable i have milk glass that i showed and i showed a bake light and a couple really tiny pins that i the opal is beautiful in the one all right can i i'm gonna put that down i said begin I can't get the fortune cookie. It's right here. This is, um, I don't know who the maker is of this. Um, I have no idea. I'm going to pass on that. That'll probably go in a craft lot. Look, it's gold tone. It's heavy. It has a little bit of weight. Hear that? It's about two inches. I think I said there's the inside. 
it looks like an oyster or something, but it's a fortune cookie, crystals and gold tone. I don't remember what I charged for it. <laughs> I can't remember. Which one do you want, Cindy? And let me put a price in for the fortune cookie. Um, <laughs> this is what I was asking for. If anybody wants it, it's cool. They, I, they price it. Um, it's got a good weight to it. There, it's magnetic. Did you want this thing for ten? Is that what you're saying? This is thirty. If anybody wants the fortune cookie, it's about two inches. It's hinged. There's the back. It's, it has a magnet in it, so it stays shut. And you have a little place you can put jewelry in it. Okay, I'm gonna put the fortune cookie there. You want this glass necklace with the? I don't think it's cinnabar. That's my guess. Okay, I'll put that in in the bag for you for ten. Thank you. It's a nice necklace. I didn't wash the fabric though. Um, I could wash it for you if you want, or you can wash it. It's not filthy. I'm not saying that, but it might benefit from from a wash. Um. It's Asian. And the fortune cookie came in the Asian lot, guys. It's funny. Um, it did. I um I I like it. I think it's pretty adorable. Okay, I got the necklace for 10 for you. Thank you. We'll pass on the fortune cookie again. That's it. And I had a loose side. I a number of things here. Um this is really beautiful. I showed this last week. Look, this is um this is cellulite. It's very late. And it's Italy. It's a it's a birch. There's the back. Looks antique actually. Vintage to antique, I'll call it. But that's scenery seed there in the boat. I can't remember what the boats are called, but that is Italy and it's pretty beautiful. It's very light. Like it is. Anyways, this I um this is 28 if anybody would want it. I think I showed that last week. Yeah, last week I kind of sold and I kind of didn't. Thursday I did. A little pair of cloisonne earrings. That's really very nice, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to sell those yet. Um, this is antique. Eventually, maybe. Not now. This is actually, I think that's glass. I don't think that's citrine. And this one is... I don't know what that is. What is that? The brooch is very pretty. 28 bucks. It's well worth it. I priced this. That's a good buy for that. Okay, thank you, Cindy. This is a Sajin. Actually, the first one I've ever found. I found it in a store, actually. And it's not as extravagant as a lot of theirs are, but um, I like it. I think it's really pretty. 28 for I'll just the celluloid Italian brooch. Call it. Thank you. Yes, 28. Thank you. I was smelling it to see if I could smell the mothballs on it. Um, these moonstones, those are Sharon, Cindy. I'm going to put these in your bags. They're just hanging out here. What else do I have? <laughs> I have a lot of jewelry laying around me. Um, uh, Cornelian, or that's actually I get. I showed that already. Shows a little bakelite. The bakelite, I I put that. I got to put that in my these. Okay. All right, I am. Um, what time is it? Well, I'm gonna stay on a little bit longer. Let me go get some water. I said I'd try to stay on tonight. I I still have 33 people here. If I don't, I'll just go through a couple more things. I need to get a drink. Or did I already have one? No, no, I have coffee. I haven't drank anything in three hours. I'm starting to feel parched. <laughs> Yeah, and I still have lots of like bracelets and stuff laying around me. That's the thing. You get like a huge, like when you get to jewelry um, and boxes, a lot comes in it. And then there's a question of what are you going to do with it? It gets hard. Um, so, all right. Well, it's late. Huh? I have some Avon rings. I ended up with a whole lot of Avon rings. I grabbed them at the uh, thrift store. <laughs> Oh, these are cute. These are just little Siam dancers. Look, just they're white and white enamel. These are um clips. She's upside down. Is she or me? No, she's not upside down. 
Here's Sterling in white enamel. Little Cyan Dancers clips. I did price these, um, and I, they're, I'll sell them for eight. I don't. Yeah, they're kind of cool. Um, they are no, they're, they're sterling silver and white enamel. There's the, all right. I know I'm running. I, I have a lot of jewelry here, but I don't know what to show. I did sell a considerable amount, I think. have to um, invoice everybody tomorrow is what I will do. Um, did I sh I've shown you guys this dress clip quite a few times. <laughs> um, it's big. And it is gold. This, this is, I, um, they're pronged, which you, is there this is a definitely vintage i think this is antique actually those are pronged and they're gold they're gold mark golden market sites golden colors not solid gold they're the color of gold i'm not saying they're i don't know if that looks gilt back there right it's a big dress clip anyways um i i am getting tired i hate to say it i think i'm getting old Either that or I need I need to go get my health checked. <laughs> I don't know. So how's how's how was Christmas for everybody? We can talk for a couple of minutes. If you want. Did everybody have a good holiday? <clears throat> I mean some people celebrate little Christmas. Do you know what that is? I think it's January the seventh, right? Is anybody familiar with that? Little Christmas. My mother used to do it with us when we were kids. We would have a small Christmas um, on January the 7th, I think it is. That's what they call it, Little Christmas. Hey, right. Nobody knows. All right, I'm going to put the rest of the strawberry away over here because um, I have some stuff laying on my table from, um, from a few people that it got all filled up. Let me see. Uh, Cindy and let me put Cindy's in this bag and I'll join them up. That's Cindy and these ones are Sharon. Okay, I'm gonna go. It's been a long, I mean, it feels like it's been a long night. It's almost been three hours. Um, so I'm gonna check out. I will invoice probably wake up really early in the morning and invoice, okay? And I'll work on getting the shipments out, like starting. Um, I'll probably come on for like an hour tomorrow afternoon or something if you guys see who shows up. Because I have different people during the day. I want to let them know if I am going to change it over. Um, just different people on during the day than there is in the evening sometimes. But thank you, Yolanda, for coming. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Um, I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys all have a good night. It's almost 11. I mean, I've, I've been on almost three hours. Um, I think I've been on long enough, right? <laughs> thank you thank you so much for coming and you're welcome everybody thank you have a good evening the last piece oh i didn't give you a price on this i don't know 30 30 on the big dress clip it's huge it's like three inches at least i didn't measure it either thank you thank you sharon i really appreciate all you guys coming girls and guys, there were a couple, one guy here at least. Jason was here. Um, all right. That was 30 if you were interested. It has golden colored uh, marcasites and they're pronged. There are three like prongs around them, which I am not used to seeing. So this is at least Art Deco. Possibly older with, with the pronging. I do know that. I was read on it. All right. Okay, everybody. Good night. I um, I assume you didn't want this. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening. I'm going to get off here. Invoice in the morning, uh, probably. Well, yeah, early morning, and I'll probably pop on for a little while uh, in the afternoon just to, you know, maybe sell a couple things to say hello and let people know that I may stop coming on in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's cool. It's, I, I would like to try to figure out exactly how old it is, honestly, but I think it's I don't know. Maybe Victorian. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Let me get off here.